Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I should be live now. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's check and make sure that y'all can see me. Alright, who have we had? Say hi. Uh, hello Inferno, uh, Dolor, uh, Bokudin, Nagashu, and Newbie. Ooh, the Power Seer and Lionheart. Right. I'm not seeing myself on YouTube yet. There we go. And I just started playing. Okay, so you guys should start seeing me any second now. So this is going to be my first playthrough of, of Super Mario World. I decided I wanted to do this live, and one of the main reasons I want to play Super Mario World is it's a completely different engine from the other Mario games I've played. Things act completely differently in Super Mario World. Uh, the physics engine is different, and I want to start doing ROM hacks. And most of the ROM hacks are modified off of Super Mario World. So it makes sense for me to kind of learn the physics engine and, and do a first playthrough of Super Mario World first. So this game came out when I was very, very young. Um, but I never actually played this game. I had the regular Nintendo, and then when it was time to get an upgrade for a new system, the Nintendo 64 was already out. But I wanted a Super Nintendo. But my dad was saying, hey, um, you know what, we should, we should get a, uh, get a N64 because it's the newer thing. I was like, oh, I really want to get a Super Nintendo though. But we wound up getting the N64. I wound up playing Ocarina of Time, which made me completely fall in love with the Zelda series. I played the, uh, the older ones for NES. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing my first playthrough of this game and seeing how this goes. All right, hi Power, hi uh, Taco, hi Jetpack, and Tex, and Jordy, hi. There you go, be on the right Google account. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start diving into this, so here we go. I am going to be playing uh, with an actual Super Nintendo controller. We are on a Super Nintendo, um, so I stretched the screen a little bit. It's not actually meant to be in 16x9, it's meant to be in 4x3. We'll just see how things go. Alright, welcome. This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. That makes about sense. Bowser likes to take people. Hi, Drummer. Oh, 2 p.m. yesterday? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I've seen this map. I know you kind of, like, pick the level you want to go to and stuff, and I've probably played a couple of these, these beginning levels at some point in time. We're gonna run around a bit and figure out the physics. This is a way more controllable turn back than what I'm used to. And you kind of float more in the air. That's how you spin jump. Okay, so this feels a lot more responsive than Super Mario Maker's version of Super Mario World, honestly. Hi, Swab Father. Uh, hi, Taco Mingo, Endercraft, Tommy. Uh, things are going great. So I just started this, like, literally a couple seconds ago. And, um... Already, I can tell that the physics engine is completely different. Like, I kind of like float in the air a lot more, and uh, just kind of experimenting with hitboxes a bit. This this feels like it's going to be a lot harder to control, honestly. But I think with time, I'll get used to it. Uh, how is the uh, the game audio? It looks like my microphone's coming in good. I'm I'm curious how the game audio is. Let's test some. Oh wow, I really move fast, huh? If I'm standing here, does he still come up? No, piranhas don't come up if I'm standing there, okay. Ah, almost fell right off that one. Ooh, okay, I know those are checkpoints. That's not a hidden block, okay, that's probably like a P-switch thing. What do you have to say? Point of advice, you can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen, use it, press the select button. Nice. If it gets hard to read, we can always switch to, oh, what do you call it again, with the black marks inside? Yeah, exactly, we can go to 4x3 if we need to. But honestly, I think it doesn't look too bad in 16x9. And one of the reasons we're testing this is I also want to kind of test... Did I do something? Oh, it's a 1-up! also want to test kind of how it's going to look uh, when I start streaming ROM hacks. Because that is up next after this. If you're not familiar with it, ROM hacks are modified versions of a game. And they're really popular uh, with Super Mario World... And basically, that's kind of how Super Mario Maker came to exist, is because of the ROM hacks. Okay, we got a Chuck here. If I touch the top of the bar, do I get a 1-up? Can I touch the top of the bar? Okay, wow, that is hard to just even get on top of. Okay, you know what? We're just going to touch it and cross. 
Excellent. And thanks for letting me know everything sounds good. You can jump as Big Mario, you can jump off saws. That's good to know. I I've seen stuff like that in ROM hacks. I haven't personally experienced any of it yet. But yeah, I need to learn all of the little minute differences because you're definitely not jumping. Ooh. Okay, so this is a P-Switch Palace. I know about these. This is my first opportunity to practice a yump. So a yump is uh, when you get a giant P-Switch like the one that we're about to see and you have exactly one frame to jump off of it. And I did not get it. Okay, cool. So all the yellow blocks are now things that we can use. Uh, continue and save. Interesting how they've got like that little water and that little tree canopy thing. Well, thank you, Taco. I really appreciate that. I I try to be a nice person, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just like anybody else. Okay. What is? Ah, mushroom. I've already got a mushroom. Yoshi. Yes. Found Yoshi. Ray, thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Oh, that's why Yoshi's in an egg. Yoshi's been trapped in an egg. I thought Yoshi just, like, came out of eggs. No getting the top gets you a 1-up? Oh, okay. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, anybody who wants to watch, don't feel like you're obligated to watch now. By no means are you. Um, this is, this is being recorded on YouTube and live-streamed on Twitch, so, like... You can watch it whenever you want. If, if you got somewhere to be, it'll it'll be there waiting for you. Or if you don't want to watch, that's completely fine, too. All right, point of advice. This gate marks... Okay, so this is a checkpoint, basically. It's just telling me what a checkpoint is. Yeah, another one-up. If I get a Yoshi egg, but I've already got a Yoshi, I just get a one-up? Okay, so Yoshi is like a, a legendary Pokemon. There's not supposed to be more than one Yoshi. Oh, okay. Wow, that jumping... Oh, God. This is different. Yoshi ditches are completely different. Okay. Man, it's gonna be so weird. So, so I'm used to pressing the bumpers here for spin moves, right? But in Super Mario World, this is the spin move. It's like... I need to decide if I want to find some way to rebind my controller, which I probably can't do because I'm actually playing on a Super Nintendo. Or just, I, I don't know, maybe I hold the controller like this. Or I can hit all three buttons. That that feels like that's gonna cause some quick carpal tunnel. Alright, let's climb up here and see what we got. Oh, a coin. So, I noticed there's those little Yoshi coins in every level. I have no clue what they do. <laughs> if you've got nothing better to do, you're more than welcome to watch. I just don't want anybody to feel like they're obligated to- Wait a minute, Yoshi laid a mushroom egg. What's the deal with this one? Why is that one colored differently? Have a good one, thanks for hanging out! Okay. Oh wow, this is- this feels so awkward. Can I get up here? Yes I can. Is there- oh, there's a ceiling, okay. Oh, uh, one up. I get to like a hundred lives. I want to get to a hundred lives. Okay, let's learn how these things over here work. Because I've seen these in ROM hacks. Okay, they're just blocks that you kick. This controller can connect to the Nintendo Switch, yes. And I, I... Wait a minute, can Yoshi not eat? Oh, okay. I guess it's just a really strict hitbox. Hey, Chuck. Okay, so I guess I can't... Okay, it takes like multiple hits to kill Chuck. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now we can find out what happens when we get on the top. Okay, I didn't actually touch the bar, so that probably wasn't a good test. Hi, you. Yeah, uh, when I'm playing, I, I use either this controller or a Nintendo uh, Pro Controller, but since I'm on a Super Nintendo now, it's, it's pretty much just this controller is what I have to use. Point of advice, the big coins are dragon coins. Oh, this is what they are. If you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. Okay. 
I'm guessing there's like five of those coins hidden in every level. Is Yoshi a dragon? Because it kind of looked like it had Yoshi's picture on it. Today I learned Yoshi is a dragon. Welcome, Asher B. Oh, thanks for hanging out. And I, anytime somebody says that, uh, that they're new here or that they like the videos or anything, it, it always makes me feel really happy because it's a lot of work to make those videos, but hearing that people are enjoying them, it, it really means a lot to me. Okay, so I shoot fireballs when I eat the, the red Koopas. Are you in the pipe? No. I think that's Hanabi. Uh, the, the thing that I'm using doesn't show the English translations of names. I think that's Hanabi. Hi, Hanabi. Okay, so it's the shell that does it. So if I eat any red Koopa, body or shell, I shoot out fireballs. Yoshi is a Dragonosaurus. That's good to know. Yes, I, I try to, um, so on weekends, I'm probably going to start trying to stream around 2, 2 p.m. Uh, New York time, which is just now. Um, but like on weekdays, I just can't. I got work. What is, okay, I can go down. Hmm. Now, if I cross the threshold with Yoshi, do I get to take Yoshi with me to the next level? Let's find out. Oh, on the twi Twitch side, is my title and everything okay? I hope it is. You know, I never actually checked to make sure that Twitch was properly set. Let me do that real quick. Okay, cool. Yep, it is perfectly set. Yay! So I'm, I'm new to this whole multi-streaming thing, and I'm worried that something's going to get input. Inc okay, so that sinks when I'm stepping on it. A dragon coin hidden up there. Oh no, I'm off screen. I don't like being off screen. <laughs> Alright. I go in? I can. Uh, Tommy, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you can play this on your Switch. They've got the Nintendo uh, Super Nintendo Library. Hi, name that I can't pronounce. Welcome. I think that looks like some sort of Arabic character. So, no, Yoshi! Whoa, I did not get invulnerability. So after I got hit and lost Yoshi, I immediately took another hit again. That's... Oh, no, I'm about to run into... Okay. So I learned a whole lot about the game and how it works there. Hi, booty man. How are you doing? I don't know if ROM hacks are going to be easier than they look like or harder than they look like based off of the, uh, the physics changes that I'm discovering here. But they're, they're not quite what I expected, so this is going to be interesting. If you can tell me how to pronounce your name, I'll try to make sure I say it correctly. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know the phonetics for, uh, for the different Arabic characters. But if you tell me, uh, like in Latin characters, how you want your name pronounced, I will do my best to try and remember that. Yeah, that went downhill real fast. But I mean, that's that's the whole point of this, is to learn the differences between this game and some other ones. And uh, I think we're doing a good job of that so far. Okay, I want that P-switch. What's in here? A star! Okay, there's a dragon coin. Oh, cool. I can kill these things. We get a one up if I kill enough things while star power is active. I do. Okay, that's good to know. Mingo or Mingo? Donna. Donna. Okay, I can remember Donna. You get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of each area. If you collect 100 bonus stars, you can play a fun bonus game. Oh. Oh, that's why they have the stars completely differently. On the on the left side next to my mushroom at the top. Okay. I'm gonna get a hundred stars to get some sort of bonus game. I had no clue how that works. Let's let's get a hundred stars then. Hi Carl, how are you doing? Carl is a star. I like that with the little stars around the name. 
I climb this? Okay, I can. No need for a cat suit. What are you gonna tell me? Okay, it's just telling me how to climb this. Boink! Oh, poor Koopa. Okay, the red ones move fast. So, can I? No, I can't. They can turn around on the back of them, but I can't. Kicking a P-switch into a ceiling does not activate it. That's good to know. Fire flower, yes, please. Can I can I fit up there to get the fire flower? Oh, okay. So even those types of blocks um go away. Can I can I step down on you? Yes, I can. I'm learning so much. Okay, okay, I remember this. One of the few things I actually remember. What's the advantage of being on the other side? Alright, one of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Koopa. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. Okay, so I think we got my first boss fight here. Anigiri is busy doing some stuff, yeah. Oh, whoa! I know what this means. I know. Things are gonna come down, yep. Missed it. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Once I pick- Whoa, I go straight to Tiny Mario! I don't- I don't go to, to Super Mario. When I take a hit, I just lose all of my power-ups. That's good to know. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's fight! Yeah, we did it! You can punch Koopas through those matches. Oh, I can punch them! Okay, that's good to know. Do I know Mr. Duvivier? I do not believe that I do. Uh, Mario has defeated Iggy Koopa. Oh, sorry. Or has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in Castle Number One and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Oh, Donut Land! I'm looking forward to this. Donut Plain. Oop. Okay, wow, it is so weird, like, losing all of my power-ups from one hit like that. Oh, okay, that- that can't be killed, apparently. Can I spin jump off of it? I can spin jump off of it. Yeah. Oh, I can't pick up coins that way. Have I played Super Mario 3? Yes, I have played all of the NES Marios. I have not played uh, the Super Nintendo one, though. That's why I'm looking forward to this. Okay, I vaguely recall this being some sort of minigame. Yeah. Uh, this is this is a, uh, a Super Nintendo that I'm playing on right now. Ooh, his cape's glowing. Yeah! Okay, so that is where I get the capes from. No! No, my mushroom! Okay, that one doesn't give me a cape. Okay, so if their capes glow, I get a cape. Yoshi! Can Yoshi eat Chuck? Chuck, I'm this way. Can Yoshi eat Chuck's baseballs? No. Okay, and Yoshi can't bounce off of Chuck's baseballs either. Oh, this is, this is, this is hectic. I don't like any of this. No! No, Yoshi! Yoshi, come back! Yeah. Okay, so one hit from underneath takes him out. Oh, there's the shiny cape! I need the shiny cape! No! I need that! I need that! I need that! Yes! No, I lost it immediately! Oh no, I'm in a bad position. Wait, what's with that vine? Oh, I just like teleported there. Physics are so weird on this compared to what I'm used to. Uh-oh. Each one of those are the shiny cape. Okay, cool. I can change the controller setup and settings? How do I... D this game has settings menu? 
Okay, so Yoshi can eat the flower, but I can't destroy the flower with a um, with a fire. Ooh, I know these. I've seen these from from the ROM hacks. Two different exits. I'm guessing one of the exits is up there. But I probably need to hit the red P switch first. That's so hectic. All right, I got enough for this mini game thing. I want to see how this works now. Bane of your existence. Oh, okay. So I guess I really want to make sure I get three in a row of something. Okay, so I guess the timing works in such a way that as long as you hit jump immediately as soon as you land, you get the same thing every time. So if I got the first one, it's a mushroom. I could have made them all mushrooms. I am having a great day. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so the, the red flashing light means multiple exits. What do these look like? These are yellow. Okay, cool. So I need to find the uh, the green piece, which I think before I go. Mingo, thanks for hanging out. And yeah, definitely. Uh, if anybody needs to go for whatever reason, don't worry about it one bit. Uh, do what you gotta do. Yeah. A level called the Gnarly. Okay, I'm looking forward to Gnarly. Yeah, keep. All right, does the guy come out of the shell? And if he does, yep, okay. Does warn me before he does, it starts to shake. I hope I'm gonna have enough time to get through there. I'm beginning to question my decision. Okay, you have to go immediately there. That's okay, we're learning. So I looked it up. This game is supposedly five hours long uh, for most players. Well, uh, we'll see how far we get through today. I don't know. Maybe we'll even manage to finish it. That would be cool. Because that means the next time I play, I can just do a ROM hack. No! Well, that's... That's than ideal. Okay, so it, it's a progressive. I don't get my cape. Unless I already had the mushroom. He's at someone. Yeah. It's up there. Can I get up there? I bet I can if I do this. Okay, it wouldn't let me go in. No! I want to get in those pipes. The game won't let me. I'm gonna die going for it. Okay, cool, we made it in there. I heard of I Show Speed. I don't think so. Are these uh, games or people? Oh, Nagiri said where she was? Okay. I didn't want to say where she was in case, you know, she, she's she's a private person. I don't want to be saying what she's doing unless she told people. But if she told people what she's doing, that's good. Hi, Danish. How are you doing? We are gonna make our way up here. Ooh. The blue shell. Why is it blue? I want it. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Just feed as a YouTube. Oh, awesome. Uh, what sort of YouTube content do they do? So I want to get to know more YouTubers, specifically Mario YouTubers. So if anybody is like, hey, you should check out these Mario content creators. I would love to get to know more of them. Um, Especially the ones that are kind of like chill like me and maybe family friendly. This is the ghost house. Can you find the exit? He he he, don't get lost. So I know that these are basically Nintendo's version of troll levels. And Nintendo's like, don't make troll levels in Mario Maker. It's a bad thing to do, but then Nintendo apparently made these. Oh, Yoshi flies with the blue shell? What? I need to get that blue shell. Let's see. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. That one confused me. I don't know what I was meant to do there. Uh, 
Plays games, trash talks, and rages. Definitely not my type of person, then. I am the opposite of that. Did it take me back? I'm not supposed to go there. The arrow tells me to go there. Guess I need to learn what this is. I lose my pe Ah, Nintendo. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, that's the end. Confusing. Yeah, this is super vanilla, but honestly, I, I might I might get a game over on this just because the physics engine is so very different. Uh hi Joe, how are you doing? Hi Tomoka. Are we gonna trust an arrow in a ghost house? You see, that may have been my problem. Is that, like, I, I saw that little raised platform there and I was like, oh, I bet something's gonna show up here when I hit the P-switch. And then something did, even before I saw the arrow. So it was like, I feel like this is it. And that's, uh... Ooh, you've got the blue shell. Where's my Yoshi? I need Yoshi now. No, I'm keeping the blue shell. No, I lost my shell! Okay, so if I jump on somebody and I'm holding a shell, it consumes the shell in this game. You can slide the screen left or right by pressing the L or R buttons on top of the controller. You may be able to see further ahead. Hey, what? How do I how do I do this? Left or right by pressing the L or R button on the top of the controller. Oh, okay. Cool. That might come in handy. I missed. You know how to get all the P switch palaces? I have no clue. Like, I have, I have not played this game. Like, I've probably played a level here and there as a kid. But, like, that's the limit of, of what I know about this game. I never had a Super Nintendo growing up, sadly. Um, but, I mean, that just means I get to experience it for the first time here with everybody else. And that should be fun. Let's see how... Can I only do it in certain spots? Okay, is it a hold? Okay, if I hold the button, it happens. Okay. I missed. I'm gonna die going for this on-off. Ah, uh, don't, don't worry about it. I'm, I figure I'll just kind of learn the, the, the game on my own. I think it'll be a lot of fun to, to experience it that way. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can spin off these guys. I'm pretty sure I've seen that in a ROM hack. Okay, he's going faster than me. Is this game really more popular than OG or Super Mario 64? I think so. I think this is probably the most popular one. Download on the Wii to see what's ahead. Yeah. No! Yeah, I'm not getting that mushroom. What's the deal with up there? I feel like I want to be up there. And yeah, they got a dragon coin up there. And a pipe! All right, can I make it into that pipe from here? No, I can't. Unless this Koopa comes far enough for me to jump off of. I can do that. Koopa, turn back. Go back to the other Koopa. You. We're gonna jump off of you. Yeah. You're taking way too long to get here, Koopa. There we go. No indicators, bad level. Oh, Nintendo, where are your indicators? How am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to shell jump? The checkpoint makes me Super Mario? Oh, that's good to know. Uh, yep, the game is, is definitely stretched. It's in uh, 16 by 9 rather than 4 by 3. I just decided to do that. Um, I figured why not. Full screen probably is better. Any chance of Super Mario 64 content someday? I'd love to see that. I just got my N64 set up with an HDMI cable. So yes, that is a thing that will be happening. So after this... 
So that's one of those rainbow shells I've seen in ROM hacks that chases you. Um, so after this, uh, I want to start diving into some ROM hacks. I really want to start playing those. Alright, I'm pretty sure you can spin on these. Nope. Okay, maybe that's just a ROM hack thing. Uh, diving into ROM hacks, doing that in addition to Mario Maker. I think that's going to be a ton of fun. What is... This is so confusing. Alright, we can go in there. Yeah, and uh, I, I do also want to play through like every uh, mainline Mario game, starting with Mario 1, going all the way to... What are we on now? Odyssey? Odyssey's the latest mainline game. This is the original Super Mario World. I have never played it, and I want to play this first before I start playing ROM hacks. I am a relatively decent Mario player. Ooh, it made a dinging noise. Google, thank you for the, the memberships. That's the first member I've ever had on this channel. Um, so I, I just recently turned on memberships, and... Um, if I set it up correctly, you should have access to special emotes now, I think. Uh, when are we getting a dog? Hopefully soon. Okay, cool. You got like a little icon next to your name now. That's awesome. I'm actually kind of curious how that works. Yeah, um, it's it's a new thing that I've turned on is, is memberships. I just went with the uh, the default rates that Google recommend or that YouTube recommended. And it's basically just another way to help content creators. By no means does anyone have to do it. Uh, the, the content here, I'm, I'm doing this for everybody to enjoy. Um, but if people do decide to give money in any fashion, whether via Super Chat, direct donations, or, or, or membership or anything like that, all of that money is going directly towards paying an editor. That way uh, the content can be made a little bit better, and I can spend nights not editing. So thank you very much for that, Google. You are officially the first member of the channel. What is... does Yoshi pull it out with his tongue? Yes. Ooh, and my uh, mushroom becomes stored. Okay. Oh, so when I take a hit and I lose my power up, that's why I have the mushroom up top. Okay. I guess they just simplified this in later games to kind of be like, when you take a hit, you, you just revert to the previous form. Quality of life improvements. Okay. Is this like, is this the Super Nintendo version of a hammer bro? Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> Am I going to play the furry Mario game? I don't know what that is, so maybe not. Hi, Google Stitch. How are you doing? What is that? Oh, is that a cape? I want a cape. Let's take the cape. I want to fly with Yoshi. That's not... That went very poorly. The way I imagined that in my head and the way that played out were completely different things. How have I never played this before? I just never had a Super Nintendo growing up, and, um... I don't know. Just something that never happened. I didn't get into uh, Mario stuff until relatively recent... Until relatively recent... And it wastes my mushroom, so it drops my mushroom for me. But I died, so I lose it. When are we getting a dog? Hopefully soonish. Um, I think right now the plan is we got some stuff going on at the end of June. Um, so my, my wife is a full-time streamer and there's a big expansion coming out for um, for like her main game at the end of June. So we know that she's pretty much going to have to be like streaming nonstop because that's kind of what content creators have to do when there's an update to their game. Um, and then after that, things should slow down a bit and that would be a good time for us to start seriously looking at getting a dog. Because we both really want one. We disagree on what type of dog we want, though. Ah. Okay, okay. I'm just... whatever. Yoshi's just keeping me alive forever. How do I... I haven't made it past this guy yet. Most fun game you've ever played? I'm looking forward to this one, yeah. Oh yeah, Mario Maker 2, I think, is is just just so well done. Um, there's there's a lot of things I would change about Mario Maker 2. And I've been thinking, you know, I, I'll probably make a, a video on YouTube at some point about, hey, things I wish they would have in Mario Maker 3. I got a lot of thoughts on that. Can I get run speed and, like, fly? I really want to fly here. Um, like, some of the best improvements to, uh, to Mario Maker, I think, would come in the form of improving endless mode. Uh, a lot of people really like the 100 Mario challenge more than Endless. I think giving people like an option for like a, a random selection mode where, you know, you can set a certain number of levels and a certain number of lives and a certain difficulty. I think that would be a huge improvement. Okay, we're going to cross the, the tape. Yeah! 
Oh, thanks for hanging out. If you gotta go, don't worry about it at all. <laughs> wiener dog. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think a wiener dog would work here. We do have stairs. I want to fly with Yoshi. I, I didn't find a way to get um get run speed there though. We can fly with it. What is the deal with this thing? What are you, what are you? Can I feel like I don't want to stand on you. Can I spin on you? Um. Well, I mean, I bounced off of it with the spin. But then immediately uh, took damage. I've seen people spin off of those before, though. Ah, I could hear. Thanks for the follow on uh, on Twitch. You got to go back with a mushroom. I can spin off these, right? Okay, I almost got myself killed there. All right, we got this. We got this. I throw. All right, what's the deal with dry bones in this game? Can I spin to kill them? Nope, okay. Doesn't look like I can. Yep, sushi emotes for uh, for members. It's basically the same emotes from my wife's Twitch thing. Um, because, eh, well, I made them, so we might as well use them. What is the... I just kind of... Okay, yeah, we do that. Do I get a little slot in here that I can drop down and get those? Yes, I do. One of them a Yoshi? Nope, but that works. Alright, can I take out a dry bones with the cape? Yes, I can. I'm supposed to take the ring. Okay, never mind. It's stairs. I feel like that's a go faster die situation. Okay, they don't turn around when they hit each other, they just run right through each other. I'm learning a lot. Uh, I am not emulating this. Um, well... Okay, so I have a, a Super Nintendo that is technically not a an official hardware Super Nintendo. So, like, you could say that it's emulated, but it is running on a actual um, cartridge with an actual Super Nintendo controller. This Bowser Jr.? Okay, I tried to cape him. The cape did not work. He just boom boom? But what's going on here? Is he gonna drop on me? Yep, okay, and then it stuns me. And he lands. You get him to drop again. Okay. Is that it? That was an interesting one. Uh, Chewy, thanks for hanging out. No, I really appreciate you swinging by and saying hi. So, if anybody has been um, playing uh, Super Mario Maker 2, Chewy Bat, like, last night I was like, oh man, I'm going to re record some of the most popular super expert levels in Super Mario Maker 2. Chewy Bat completely ruined that recording because Chewy Bat had like four of the top seven levels, and I've already played them all. So, Chewy Bat is just a fantastic level creator, like, really popping off. Be sure to check out their levels. Morton Koopa Jr. Oh, it's Morton Koopa Jr. Okay. Castle number two is now just a memory. The next area is the underworld vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become of Princess Toadstool? Celeste? Yes, I did Celeste for a charity stream. Um, when was it? Maybe a month ago? Uh, we raised a lot of money on that stream. It was great. I, I really enjoyed Celeste, but it is... Uh, I did the entire playthrough in one sitting. I think it was like three hours, and you can find that on uh, on the YouTube channel. And if anybody's watching on the Twitch side, I am primarily a YouTube content creator. Uh, so be sure to check out the, the YouTube channel. I put out new... I can fly now! Be sure to check out the uh, the YouTube channel for uh, new videos every day. I, can I... How do I get through underneath? Can I do this? Yes, I can. No! I destroyed my blue shell! Oh, nice. Oh, Camden, thank you very much for the super chat of 299. That is fantastic. Thank you so very much for that. And again, if anybody wants to contribute anything, by no means do you have to. But if you do choose to, um, in you know, full transparency, any money that I get is going straight towards uh, paying an editor to make uh, higher quality videos and give me some nights off from editing. So it's very much appreciated, but by no means required. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh. I can't spit that shell out. I don't know how to activate that, so we're just going to move on. Thank you, Camden. How do I... 
Okay. Oh, it's a star. Yes. Let's go. I'm gonna get so many one-ups from- No, the Koopa ran away. Yoshi swallows the shells. Oh, okay. Can I- If I have a blue shell and I don't want Yoshi to swallow it, can I, like, spit it out and re-eat it? Okay. I, Yoshi, eat these guys? Yes. No! Oh, right, I can't- I don't get iframes in this game like I'm used to in Mario Maker. I need to remember that. I'm like, oh, I've been hit by Yoshi, I might as well go as fast as I can, because nothing can hurt me for a little while. That's not how this game works. Oh, a noise. Hamden, thank you very much for the additional $5. Uh, again, very appreciated, but <laughs> by no means required. Thank you so much, Camden. I do really appreciate that, and I, I gotta say, like, just... As somebody who started doing all, all this stuff fairly recently, the, the amount of support that people have shown has just completely blown me away, so thank you very much. Okay, let's, let's, let's get down here. There we go. Okay. Got the glowy block. What? Oh, that's just a chuck. Okay. Oh, a shell takes out a chuck in one hit. Good to know. I'll shoot them out? Okay. <laughs> well, the shell and pooped out a mushroom. I mean, hey, if that gives me mushrooms, I'll take mushrooms. Jibadob saying, good job while raising his thumb. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm guessing I was- it actually showed a picture of that. Okay. Oh, thank you, Camden. I- it is my goal to keep this going uh, with the daily videos and everything for 2022. It, I started doing this at the end of 2021. It was kind of my New Year's resolution. Hey, I need a hobby. Um, I'm gonna try and do this thing for one year and just see- see how it goes and Okay, ooh, do I, I feel like I might swim faster holding something like in Mario Maker, but I'm not sure. Oh, right, he eventually comes out of the shell. Okay, but yeah, I definitely swim a lot faster while I'm holding something. Ah! Let's, let's get rid of the shell before it does exactly that. What does the blue shell do? Apparently, if Yoshi has eaten the blue shell, you can fly. So, you know, for the rest of 2022, I want to keep doing this. I'm, I'm trying to commit myself to it. I think I'm in a good position this year to be able to pull that off. Um, and then after that, we'll, we'll see how things go. If I can just sit down and like, you know, it, it may not be daily videos at that point. It may just be me sitting down recording as much as I can record over like, uh, you know, a weekend, maybe maybe one Super World a week or one ROM hack or something. And I hear some of these ROM hacks can take a crazy long time. And then just pass that on to an editor. That That, that would be ideal for me. Because editing is not something I particularly like to do, but it, it really makes a huge difference when uh, when you put your time and effort into editing. It makes the video quality so much better. You should do the learned uh, Kaiser hack. So somebody actually uh, reached out to me and they're making a new um, hack that's supposed to, to teach people how to play Kaizo. And I'm going to follow up with them and it uh, should be about ready for me to, to try. So this is meant to be something that's basically going to be an update on the Learn to Kaizo hack. And they said I would be one of the first people to test it for them, so I'm looking forward to that. What is the deal here? Oh, noise. Mixed bag of stuff, super chatted, $10. Happy Sunday, love your channel, keep it up. Thank you very much for that. Again, by no means is it expected or required of anybody to contribute anything, but if you do, uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you so very much. All of the uh, the proceeds go directly towards paying for an editor. That way, uh, the content can be a little bit higher quality. And I can take uh, some nights off of editing. Okay, so I think he's immune until he stands up, and then I can damage him. Oh, I can boop that. I don't need a Yoshi to eat it. Okay. Ah! Can I, can I one-shot him with a cape? Yes. I want to keep the cape. Because now I got a cape and a flower. So again, thank you very much for that mixed bag of stuff. And Relivity, thank you for the kind word. It means so much to me when people show up and they say they like my videos. Okay, ooh! I can dive! Oh no! Okay, okay. What?! Did he just multiply?! just multiplied on me. Hi, Harold. How are you doing? It was great seeing you last night at, um, at Checkpoint Stream. I... 
I am probably not that great of a Mario player right now in, uh, in Super Mario World, but it's my goal to become a better player. Um, same way that I did with uh, Super Mario Maker. Just a lot of time, a lot of practice, and I got there. I mean, switch power-ups with select. Okay, thank you. You know, I know that. I've still never actually done it, though. I should probably give that a try. If I... Oh, wow. Mushrooms will actually replace the other thing I'm holding? That's That's terrible. Okay. I need to figure out the best way to hold the controller to be able to do spins. Because I feel like spins are so important in ROM hacks. And, uh... Night. No! I wanted it. I couldn't get it. And then I just fell after all that. Beethoven! If you really want to, how can you become a moderator on this channel? Um... Just hang out a bunch. Get to know us. Um... So, like, Lionheart has been hanging out in my wife's stream for, for a while, and so that's kind of... That's not a semi-solid. And so that's kind of how we began to uh, to trust Lionheart, and so it's just one of those things where, you know, be active in the community, and I, you know... I'm, I'm happy to add uh, people if they're willing to uh, to help keep things... Oh, boy. I didn't see this one until too late. Well, thank you, Ben. I'm, I'm happy that you uh, made it to a live stream. I'm, I'm trying to live stream more. I'm not really known for my live streams, but I feel like it's a great way to kind of grow the community. Okay, so those ghosts don't spawn until I'm pretty close to them, so I should not just be blindly running in the ghost house. Um, see, so yeah, I'm streaming uh, concurrently right now on YouTube and Twitch. I gotta tell you guys, the YouTube chat is way faster than the Twitch chat. I don't even know if anybody's watching on Twitch. Um, but yeah, it's it's my goal to start trying to grow the community through doing more stuff like this. Okay, I just need to wait until the hole for the ghost circle is at the top, and then I can get my mushroom. That's the play there. And I'm hoping that my Super Nintendo controller, it's it's uh, wireless. I'm hoping the battery lasts a while. But if it doesn't, I've got uh, extra wired Super Nintendo controllers. I've seen that as a boss in some ROM hacks. So I think he can be damaged while I'm holding the... See that? That's the problem. Those those circles don't spawn until you're like right there. Good afternoon, Legend. How are you doing? Well, well uh, thank you. I, I try my best to be educational and that's an important thing for me. Uh, I really want people to, to be able to, to learn how to do things and, and be able to play the stuff that I'm playing. Hi, R1NX. Hi, John. All right. Hi, Karski. I think I said hi to... What is, what is this? What is the giant green ball? Okay, there's more giant green balls. Okay. I don't... I don't know what these things are, but I don't think I want to touch them. Nope. Yeah. Power up. E-switch. I think we want that. Hmm. I feel like I should grab those coins and then go through that P-Switch door. Okay, now it's bringing me way back. Power up, yes! I needed that. Let's go, okay, so now- Okay, this is where I lost the power- So you just slide, even when you're standing still, you slide on those. So I wasn't crouched, I just slid down the stairs. Hi Highland, yes, please study. Um, take care of getting ready for more important stuff like school. Oh, I just barely touched it. But yeah, um, Highland Dude is um is kind of another Mario Maker content creator that I've I've been helping out with a lot. Um kind of like a, a mentor, uh mentee relationship kind of. So he's recently uh made a lot of changes to to his YouTube videos. So if you're interested, check out his YouTube videos. And if I set things up correctly, at the end of this stream, when this stream ends, one of his videos should play. Uh, so please check it out. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would check out a content creator that uh, that I, I appreciate um, watching the content of. That's that's one of the things that I want to do, is I want to help grow uh, some of the other Mario content creators. And I think YouTube has been fantastic to me with discoverability. So I want to kind of share that discover- See, okay, you just slide there. You just slide down the stairs. That's not how stairs work, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to share some of that discoverability that YouTube has given me with some other content creators that I enjoy. Spin jump. I can spin jump on the green balls? Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is good to know. This is very useful information. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm just taking a hit there. There's no way I was getting out of that in time. Okay, so this is where the P-switch is. So we're gonna go to the end, we're gonna collect the coins, and then activate the P-switch. And I think... This is what we're meant to do. Oh, we did it! Oh, stationed in Japan, that's awesome. Yeah, happy Sunday, everyone. Hi, Mimer. Hi, Familian. Welcome back, yeah. Ah, no problem, Hylian. So yeah, again, Hylian Dude is a fantastic new content creator. Um, gonna be popping off soon. Okay, I don't really... Oh, that's what that is. Okay, because I saw that little face popping up. I was watching, I think it was uh, Figure Skater on on TikTok. Uh, she, she streams on Twitch as well. I was watching her do a ROM hack, and that thing kind of like popped out the bottom, and I had no clue what that was. Yeah. Let's spin jump the exit. Oh, was that an exit that I missed? Can I can I jump on them? No, I cannot. I don't know if I can spin jump on them, but I don't want to die to find out. Uh, do I need a shell jump up here? What's the deal? Okay. Wow, already with the hidden blocks. Nintendo. Nintendo tells people not to troll in Super Mario Maker, but they really set it up with this stuff. Let's find out. Oh, I missed. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Seasons. How are you doing? You can also spin jump on booze. I can spin jump on booze? Okay, that changes things. I need, like, a list of what I can and can't spin jump off of. That's awesome, Ben. I'm really happy about that. Um, again, that's that's one of the things that I really want to do is... Okay, what is... Is I want to show people kind of, like, the things that I enjoy doing, and then if they see it and they're like, Hey, that looks fun. I want to do that, too. That, that makes me very happy. How do I... Do I need to get rid of the shell? Okay, looks like I can't do that while I'm holding... Nope, I want the Yoshi. How do I... Oh, jeez. This is bad. We're just gonna get rid of that. Go away, shell. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to get up there one of these days. Okay. Can I go on a trip with Yoshi? This was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Donna says, um, my best friend got me Mario Maker 2 for your birthday. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's great. Like, when, when friends give friends gifts and it, uh, kind of helps expose them to a new hobby or something new that they enjoy, that's, that's one of the best things. It's one of the best things about having friends is, is being able to share interests with them. Might be in trouble. Okay, no, we got that. We got that. Can Yoshi jump on these? Yes. Sorry, you're gonna see me, like, test a lot of things, because I'm like, what'll happen if I do this? And that's the main reason... Okay, bye, Yoshi. And that's the main reason that I'm playing this game right now, is to learn about the uh, Super Mario World engine, that way I can be prepared for ROM hacks. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Familian, I think I already said your, uh, your name a second ago, right? Unless I said it incorrectly. Hi, meme artist. The thing that got you into Mario is watching NES gameplay of Mario. That makes sense, yeah. Speed watch the Celeste stream. That's fast. After you played the B and C sides, you can play the last chapter. It is wonderful. You have to play every side. Oh, okay. I've I know that there's B and C sides. I might need to give those a try at some point. Yes, Endercraft. If if you enjoy playing this game, go for it. Um, I just <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm having a lot of fun doing pretty much everything I'm doing now and. I know somebody told me I don't want to grab that mushroom because it'll replace my cape, which is terrible. Why anyone would want to do that is beyond me. Okay, I can't throw... Oh no! I'm... Everything's coming so fast! We got this, we got this. Ah! 
Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, can we fly? Oh, yes! We got the thing. The checkpoint thing. Can I go in here? Oh, there's just a pipe in the- Whoa! Like, six bullets just spawned at the same time. Okay, I can go in that one. Don't play the last chapter, it's too brutal. I don't- I don't mind brutal challenges. Um, Maddie did a fantastic job with Celeste. And actually, one of the ROM hacks I really want to play is the one that's, you know, allegedly uh, by Maddie, the creator of Celeste, Supersonic Saves the World World. Which is just a weird name for for anything. <laughs> um, but supposedly it's like one of the best ROM hacks. And it makes sense if she did actually make it. Nice. Oh. That's, okay, interesting. I didn't know that that was... The, oh, geez, that normal piranha plants were rare in this game. Uh, that's, uh, not a semi. Okay, I can't, I can't walk through that. I feel like something's going to happen here and I'm going to die soon. Oh no, we got to the end. We did it. Yeah, it seems like there's a huge difference between this and Super Mario World and Super Mario Maker. I am struggling in this stock game, so I, I'd, I'd like to think I have skills playing platforming games, but... I am, ooh, Magikoopa? But I am largely um, uneducated, and I guess it would be safe to say ignorant about how to, is, do I just wait for one underneath to take out the block above that way I can fall through? I feel like that's what I need to do. But yeah, I am largely ignorant about the rules for this game and kind of the movement as well. Let's see. Yes, okay, that is what I do. Blink. We'll see me struggle a lot on uh, on ROM hacks soon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's the deal here? What's the deal here? No, no, no. Oh wow, he just like zapped right at me. <laughs> yep. Hey, kid, kid me probably would have been better at this. At a faster reaction time than I guess. I have seen in some ROM hacks people spin off the magic, which seems weird to me. I'm not really sure. Okay. I need you to teleport underneath me, buddy. This is not underneath me. Thank you. It looks like in this version, all he does is make Koopas. It's not like a random item that he creates. Can I spin off of it? Oh, I wanted to know if I could spin. <laughs> he dropped a Koopa on my face. Ooh, first Mario game was Mario Kart. Do I have Tetris? Um, I think I have Tetris for Game Boy. I think that's that's the system I have Tetris on. We're gonna we're gonna take some shells with us if we can get some. Okay, so I feel like when fighting this guy, he doesn't lock onto where you are and then cast there. It's like he starts casting and then when he finishes the cast, it just goes in whatever direction you're at at that time. Very different from Mario Maker, so I need to be prepared uh, and kind of wait out the cast. Like wait for the magic to be finished. And then boop him. There we go. Or just throw a shell. Ah, well, I'm not making my way up there. Alright, it takes away my P-switch when I go through doors. That's good to know. Galaxy's your favorite? Tetris, um... I might play some Tetris at some point. I feel like that's kind of a fun game. I've seen, uh, I've seen some, some new techniques on Tetris, I guess... I forget what they call it, but it's basically when they're, they're hitting the back of the controller to kind of do rapid inputs. That seems really neat to me.
Okay, there we go. What is the deal with here? Is this just a place to stand? That yeah, doesn't look like there's actually anything up there. Nope. And now we go. I could use that. I don't have a stored item. Um... I feel like I went too fast there, and I was supposed to wait a while. Rolling, okay, yeah. Rolling, that's what they call it. Oh wow, I didn't get a checkpoint? No, I never got a checkpoint. And we're gonna try this a different way this time. Okay, okay, okay. I really want to go into that door and see whatever's there. There's the checkpoint. Okay. So you have to you have to earn the checkpoint here. That's cool. All right, we're gonna not just charge in there. We're gonna wait. Pokemon. I think I would love to do some Pokemon at some point in time, like in Nuzlocke's. Alright, we're gonna wait. I feel like I can make that jump, but we're not gonna test it. Okay, I suddenly started moving much faster right as I approached that, uh, that edge. Almost jumped right in. Oh, we got this, we got this. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 this is the area where I needed to be patient. Wait, okay. I'm so bad at being patient. There we go. I'd say my lack of patience is probably number one or number two in, uh, in the causes for my deaths in these games. All right, boss fight. What? Is this whack-a-mole? Okay, one of them is real, the others are dummies. I just need to hit the real one. I think we did it. Wait, have you made a video on Mario Lost Levels? Not yet. I haven't done uh, the the real Mario 2 yet. But I'd like to do that. I want to do um, Mario's 1 through 3, including both versions of Mario 2. I think big Disney fan uh, for the follow on Twitch. Do I want to build a snowman? I would very much love to build a snowman. Unfortunately, it's summer here. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of Castle Number 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Okay, so the red and green switches are behind me, and I do want to find them. So... It's probably one of these areas here. Let's check this one out, because it looks like this one probably leads to that pipe. Fire Emblem? Oh, I've heard a lot of great things about Fire Emblem. Oh, this is your favorite childhood game? That's awesome. Okay, we're looking for an alternate exit. Hmm. I wonder, is it possible to soft lock yourself in this game? Because I bet I could right here. If I played terribly. 92 were you? Yeah, it, it can be warm. Okay, so this one had red, so I think this is one that has a secret exit, so I want to see if it's one I can get to yet or not. Okay, it's probably something about this. That's probably the secret right there, which means I need to get the red piece switch first. Yeah, okay. I don't think I can get a shell jump up there, can I? 
No. Okay. So I think I need to come back to this one. Is there a way for me to leave this level? Okay. So we're going to come back to this one. Let's see what else we found that has a, um, a red thing. This one has one. And this one has one. Let's check out the ghost house. I feel like the ghost house will have one I can get one to. Green is on second level. Is that... Is that where I am now, or...? I feel like if I could fly with that cape. Maybe then. Oh no, oh no. I need the cape? Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're gonna, we're gonna take a cape and we're just gonna fly around the top of the level and see what's up there. There's a lot up here. Okay. Go up even higher. Nice, I got that turn back on my first try. What's the deal with that? Why is that already hit? Okay, there's a key. That's definitely something. Check out some chat stuff. No, the other red one, the one after. Oh, okay. I think I can get up there, though. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave this and go to the one above this one. <laughs> yeah, I found the key. I don't know what the key does yet, though. Oh, uh, yep. You did mention uh, the name was Dana, and I should be fine uh, remembering that. Okay. So here, we're going here. Oh no, it's the auto scroll. Okay, we're looking for something out of the ordinary. Something that looks like it could be a hidden level. Thanks, System Positive. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, NetWeed, that, that totally makes it. Oh, okay, you know what? Watching chat. Oh boy. Watching chat and uh, trying not to get crushed. Don't mix. You just run, jump, or you fly. He goes to the palace shortcut. Okay. Hmm. I think I went into this green one last time. Uh, if you want to give me a hint to how to get to the P-Switch Palace, that would be fine. I'm wondering if this is where I'm supposed to fly, like right up in here. Okay. I bet I need a Yoshi, I'm supposed to get that. Check the pipes. Okay, I've been checking the pipes. Maybe it's the pipe I just came out of. I think maybe I need a Cape or a Yoshi in that area I just left. I'm going to get a cape, and I'm going to go back to that area. I'm going to try and fly up there, because I feel like where I just was, was where something would be. Let's get a cape real quick. There was a vine. Oh. I did not know there was a vine. No. Can I take this with me now, if I do that? I appear to be... The okay, cool. So let me keep it. Blue shell? Yeah, I think... I'm hoping that I won't need the blue shell if I, if I have a cape like this. Oh, and there's a, another cape there. 
Okay, so now I got double capes. I uh, thank you, Pixel Yoshi uh, Gamer, for the follow on Twitch. Okay, okay. That's disappointing. I can't take another hit until I get through that pipe. Alright, that next one I think is the one I can go into. Oh man, you speed ran this game? That's crazy. You like, know how to do it in like a couple minutes. It's fine, get it with a shell. Hi Pixel Yoshi Gamer, how are you doing? Okay, I saw something up there. Okay, okay. Well, now I'm just confused. Do I need a Yoshi? Uh, newbie, don't worry at all about being late. You've got a life to live. Somebody said there was a vine. Oh, maybe like... Okay, that's that's what it is. I get it now. I get it. Yeah! Secret exit! Green pea switch! Yes! Oops. Let's go. Give me all of them one up. Oh. <laughs> I have not played pretty much any SNES game at all. I I really misjudged how that situation was going to play out. I thought what I was looking for was at the bottom. I was clearly wrong. <laughs> Did not get the yum. It's funny to me because YouTube stream is so far behind uh, chat, so I hear you guys telling me to do something that I did like a minute ago. All right, we got the green boxes. So now, there's something here that I think this was a level where I saw something I could do if I had the green. Let's go um, get to the end of this one again. But then do whatever it was that was hidden here. And flying to the end. No! My beautiful cape! No, I'll take your cape. Give me your cape. I want your- I want your cape! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give yes! This is mine now. Okay, never mind. You can- you can- you can keep your cape. Wait, it's back! I need more cape. Oops. More cape! Okay, cool. So this is what I was looking for. Oh, and they all give me capes. That's cool. Okay, so here's the secret exit. What have we got here? Another area of multiple exits. Okay. Hi, Fox. How are you doing? I feel like fire flower is better here. Nothing better than shooting fire underwater. <gasps> oh, I can't like boost 
fast like I can in uh, Mario Maker here. In here. I don't want to lose the balloon right now. Oh, oh no, this is a limited time ability, huh? I uh, hope my feathers come in for me. Feather? Probably despawned it. No! Okay, well this area looks crazy. Uh, Sebastian, thanks for the sub on YouTube. One minute cape. Is that a speed run? Like, trying to get the cape in under a minute? Oh yeah, I move fast when I'm holding things. No, okay, I'll hold the P-switch now. Oh, so much faster to swim. Is that where a key is, maybe? Hidden in here? Yes, it is. Wow, that sudden boost of speed when I pick something up. was a fire flower. Okay, it's a progressive, so I don't get a fire flower unless I'm already Super Mario. We could try this again. This is so crazy confusing. Vermillion, thanks for hanging out and have a great day. We're just gonna go as high up as we can. I'm hoping one of these is like a new P-switch. Yes! Or p bloom, whatever we're calling it. Okay. Sure what the deal here is. I feel like I, I missed out on an opportunity to get something amazing there. Ten euros to the person that says how much times that rune said cape from the start of the stream to the end of the screen. Ah, that's a that's a pretty good opportunity. If somebody wants to win ten euros, just count the number of times I've said the word cape. You know, if closed captions is already running, you might be able to just Search on there. I think closed captions is being done in, in real time on YouTube. Okay. Ah! Wow, that just... So much happened there. It's gonna be funny when I, when I go to Kaizo and it's just like... Me getting completely obliterated. <laughs> on easy stuff. There's the Yoshi in one? Oh, I wanted a Yoshi. Blue fish really wants me, huh? Mario's swimming so fast, holding that P-switch. Away, green fish. I turned back. 125 times? I feel like I haven't said it 125 times. Probably. Yeah, actually counting could take a while. Yeah, the blue- well, I'm trying not to wake up the blue fish. I'm annoyed that the blue fish is waking up. I'd prefer it just stay asleep and not mess with me. Wait, can I not wake it up if I go really far? Nope. How is this waking you up, blue fish? Ah. 
Bluefish is now the hardest enemy in Super Mario World. It is confirmed there is no enemy worse than Bluefish. This is the bane of my existence. Um, underwater levels were bad enough, and then they had to go add a Bluefish. Orange fish, you're fine. Green fish, I don't like you, but you know, you're cool. Bluefish. Bluefish, literally the worst thing in Mario. Rip Van Fish? I'm cool with that. That sounds about right. Okay, we're just gonna push through. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna get that key. Okay, this one right here is my biggest problem. So we're gonna juke him. Activate P switch. Never mind. Blue switch is the end boss. Confirmed. Blue switch. Blue switch is harder than Bowser. I don't even know what Bowser's like in this game, but blue switch or blue fish definitely, definitely worse than Bowser. My biggest problem is like you can't fall quickly in this game. So like, when you find yourself in a bad position, you don't really have an easy way out of it. Favorite enemy so far? Um, hmm. I like the guys that give me the capes, because I like the capes. Now let's go bluefish. Back to sleep, Bluefish. Okay, all right, here we go. Can I can I kill him with the P switch? No. Oh, we're so far ahead of them this time. There's no way they're gonna be able to hit me. No. Let's go. We escaped the evil Bluefish. I lost so many lives doing it. And right, this takes us to a secret ghost house. Let's go. Plot twist, Bowser doesn't exist, Bluefish is the true final boss. I can see it. Let me out, let me out! Flower. Right, I've been told I can spin off of you. Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. There are five entrances to the Star World in Dinosaur Land. Find them all and you can travel between many different places. That's good to know. Um, go back. I, Boo, could you could you just not? Uh, we're gonna try this one. What's, is there a way for me to control that? Oh, okay. The way that I'm moving, snake. It's snake. Give it a coins. I'm cool with that. The blue fish. Okay, let's try out the other one, which I'm pretty sure there's a door right here. Go into the door. Ghost House is really a pain. It's got a cyclic trick exit. Literally the show house. Oh, so these can have exits too. Okay. If you press down while swimming, you will do a small swim. I did not know that. Thanks for letting me know.
What capture card do I use for the Switch? I use the, um, Elgato, um... Oh, look, there's the end. The game, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the game. I use the Elgato... HD60 PCIe on this computer. And we've also got an Elgato HD... Uh, or an Elgato 4K PCIe, which I think is... Actually, it's not even in a computer right now. It's just in an old computer. I should probably plug that into something. And we also use the HD60 USB for my wife's stuff. And pretty much all Elgato stuff. Uh, newbie, don't worry about it one bit. You've you've done more than enough. And it's very much appreciated. Yeah, oh man, blue fish are just the worst. Oh man, I should have spin jumped on that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Let's go! Quick say that you legally got this ROM from real cartridge. This this is an actual cartridge. This is this is a Super Nintendo with an actual cartridge in it. I I I I don't think I can actually get into the uh into the, the end from here, but we found it. Okay, so that's the shortcut, I guess. It feels like it was a longer path. But we found one of the switches. Let's check out this area now. I bet we can find more here. One of these levels, I can't remember which one. I said, oh man, I need to find that green switch first. And now that we've found the green switch, we can start looking for the other exit. It was this one. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. I'll take that blue shell with me. Let's go. Don't want that mushroom. It was the red, oh man, it was the red I needed, really? Can I? Yeah, it's not gonna let me do that. Yeah, I think it's great that these games are like built into the Nintendo Switch Online thing. Um, but since I want to start doing doing ROM hacks, um, you know, it was important to me to to actually get like a, a, a uh, NES hardware with uh, with an HDMI output and um, and get some stuff set up that I could actually start um, playing them. And you know, I was talking to, to a bunch of people and they were like, "Yeah, just just emulate it." And I was like, "I don't really want to emulate it. I want to have it be on an actual cartridge." So, oops, thought I could slide in there. That did not work. Beethoven, thanks for hanging out and have a great day. What's the deal here? Something hidden? No. Oh boy. I jump off of Yoshi to get up to that block. Might be able to do that. Um, I don't have a Yoshi with me right now, but yeah, it looks like there's ways to get up there. I was thinking maybe a Yoshi that's eating a green shell and I can shell jump. Alright, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. We found one of the things. I wanna I wanna start progressing further in this game. Okay, uh cheese bridge area. Wow, the bridge has cheese in its name. Is there a way to cheese it? Can I cheese it with this cape? Because if so, it's definitely going to be the cheese bridge. Nobody saw that. I want to cheese the cheese bridge. I'm gonna turn around in midair up there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trying to cheese the cheese bridge was a bad idea. Let's play the level properly.
I've seen people spin jump off of these in ROM hacks, so I'm pretty sure I can. Man, y'all are always saying worse death. Wait, what? I don't know what the deal here is. I feel like... No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know what's with that floating wings. Oh, lost all that stuff. Oh, I feel like we're close to the end there, too. Okay, you only do cheese half of it. What are ROM hacks? Uh, so ROM hacks are when people take uh, the code of the game and modify that. So basically, before there was Super Mario World, all that there was was people modifying versions of Mario. And Nintendo doesn't really like that sort of thing happening. So Nintendo created Super Mario Maker and they said, There, we've given you the ability to make your own levels. Please stop doing these ROM hacks. And everybody was really happy that they could now make their own levels. But, you know, they didn't stop making the ROM hacks. Hey, Nintendo made money off of Super Mario Maker, so everybody wins. It's the end. Nice. Go back and fly. Now nah, we made it. We made it the, the appropriate way. I'm running low on lives. So I don't want to game over. Yeah, you definitely can't move like that in, um... In Mario Maker. I was just zipping all around the place in midair. That's not good. These moles are just popping out all over the place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose to everybody's childhood game. And we're gonna, we're gonna take it slowly here. Guy shoots. Okay, so it looks like he drops down lightning bolts and it shoots out fire from like four blocks around him. <laughs> Mario Maker ROM hack. Oh man. That's a that's that's a little bit over the top, and I love it. All right, he's got like a spike on his head. Can I can I jump on his head? Well, I, I definitely can't hug him from the side. Will I ever play New Super Mario Brothers? I want I want to play through all of the mainline Mario series. I'm down to two lives though. This is this is. I can't jump on him. This is good to know. I've spent so much time trying to kill a guy that in a way that I clearly cannot kill him. We're just going to avoid him. I don't know what his deal is. I don't want anything to do with him. Okay, jump over that. More moles! More moles! No! Why are there so many moles? Okay, I've learned, I've learned to stay away from this guy and his stomps. Nice, okay, now we're Super Mario. Let's just, let's just get to the end as quickly as we can here. Before something like that happens. Okay, okay. Ah. Making it up to the top. 
Where is the... Okay, well, I don't think I can get any of those things. Okay, this one shoots stuff. That's not good. Nope, 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 not these guys, not these guys. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna take them out, we're gonna take them out. Yeah, uh, any of these mushrooms? It really is a mushroom. Hi Keta, how are you doing? Oh, mushroom, yes. We're gonna clutch this, we're absolutely clutching this. Okay, I need to break the tape, that way I can go to the bonus game and get some 1-ups. 22, that'll put me in the bonus game, okay. get something out of this. Okay. A little bit. We got, I got two lives. That's that's good enough. Now we need to get a uh, hundred coins a bunch of times. Among Us? Um, so if I do play any style of games like Among Us, I won't be playing those style of games on YouTube, but I may play social deduction games on Twitch. And the reason for that being... I can't really control what other people say in those sort of games, and I want YouTube to remain family friendly, but like, you know, I still want to play those sort of games, and I think those are great games for content. So if anybody ever wants to watch me play those style of games, I'm going to be doing that on Twitch because, well, I want to make sure YouTube always remains family friendly. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure where the great farm locations are yet, but... I definitely feel like I do need to do some farming. It's a long run here. Alright, there we go. And what's in here? Cape! Well, yeah, but I mean, like, if I play anything like that, I'm playing on voice with my friends. I recently started playing a social deduction game similar to that called Dread Hunger, and uh, I was thinking I might stream that on, on Twitch, but I'm definitely not streaming any of that stuff on, on YouTube. Because my friends, yeah, I can't control what they say. What? He just somersault? Oh, that's not fair. I can't hit him there. He's literally just off screen. What a jerk. Can I spin off his shell? Okay, I can spin off of. He's landing off screen again! Stop doing that. You're not allowed to land off screen. There we go. What's this my plan? This is actually on a Super Nintendo. Have I seen the Sonic movie yet? Not yet. I want to go see that. Um, my wife and I are talking about going to see the movie soon, but we'll probably see a different movie first. Um, I mean, any 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 networking site can be just as toxic as all the other ones. Twitch, YouTube, they've all got some issues. It's all about where you go within those sites and who you interact with. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number no. 4 are over. The Forest of Illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. It's a perplexing forest. I hear you saying it's easy, but I mean, it said it's perplexing, so. Prepare to be perplexed. 
course the Forest of Illusion would have multiple exits. Okay, so this is where we first meet Wigglers. I will take your shell. Thank you. Yoshi! Oh, I haven't had Yoshi in so long. Yoshi, welcome back. I wonder what the difference between these purple apples is. Is this just like a points thing, or do they actually do something? Excuse me, I took damage and stayed on Yoshi? What just happened there? You farm over 500 lives in forest? Well, I would like to do that. Don't know how to do that, but I would very much like to do that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that just like to watch and never say anything. And for those of the people out there who are just watching and have never said anything and will probably never say anything, uh, thank you very much. I know I'll probably never, you know, thank you by name because, well, your, you, your actions kind of make that impossible. But but thank you for being here to all the uh, to the unknowns. We, we, we call you lurkers. And it's, it's not a bad thing at all. It's a great thing that, that you're here supporting me and all the other people that you support. Okay, we got a star power. Let's try and get some 1-ups from this star power. Alright, there's some 1-ups. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna call that a win. I- I just gained so many lives. Huge win. Huge win. No, I don't want to leave Yoshi. Turn me back. Can I boop you while I'm in this mode? I can. I want to ride the Yoshi, though. Let me- let me get on my- Oh, okay, you can take damage that way. Need to juggle the Goombas in one of the pipes. That's one way of doing things, but the star power, I think, worked out really well, too. Oh, right when I hit jump. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna farm a bunch of lives with this star power right here. It spawns me right next to a star power. What? No, I wanted the star power. This is the worst thing ever. Oh, I thought I had that. You chain 10, you get a special celebration fanfare. Oh, it continues to change after it comes out? I was not aware of this. I want to hit it when it's the one before the star, when it's the cape. Okay. Okay, I will take the people in now. Yeah! Yeah, it does change to a mushroom. I don't know why, like, I'm wondering if it continues to change after it comes out, so like, if I hit it when it's in the cape form, will I get the star? It does, it continues to change. Alright, we're learning stuff, we're learning stuff. This is my one-up farm right here. I like that. We got enough lives to last a while now. This is where I come back to if I need lives. This level right here. I mean, yeah, we, we should call people what they want to be called by, but I mean... I feel like for, for people who never say anything in chat, lurkers is kind of just the accepted term. And, uh, and they're appreciated.
Okay, I can take them out with those blocks. That's good to know. We're learning some Super Mario World here. Ah! Uh, Ryan, thanks for the follow on uh, on the Twitch side. It's appreciated. I, yeah, I'm 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 mostly a lurker too. When I'm watching stuff, I like to sit there quietly. There's a handful of people that I'll engage with, but I am more of the just sit there and watch and don't say anything type. I, I like to watch uh, while I'm doing other things. And so, you know, I'll let the other things occupy my main attention, and then um, and then whatever I'm watching will kind of be like second screen content. Can I get through that? Okay. We're gonna wait. Oh no, there's a blue fish coming up. You know what I don't like? Blue fish. There's several blue fish coming up. No! Give me a way to fight back. Oh, that'll at least allow me to take a hit. Go fast before the blue fish all wake up and attack me. There's so many blue fish. There does not need to be this many blue fish. Alright, we got through. Uh, I have subs turned off. Yes, um, I am not an affiliate on Twitch. So, uh, if you become an affiliate on Twitch, you sign a contract with them saying that Twitch owns any content that you broadcast on their site for 24 hours, which means I can't multi-stream. So on Twitch, I am not an affiliate, and I will not sign any sort of uh, legal paperwork with Twitch. I'm sure look different. Is it is it lit up? Okay, it is. But on the bright side, on the Twitch side, if you are watching on the Twitch side, you can interact with me better because you don't have like that 30 second delay that YouTube does. Because I mean, if you're watching on both Twitch and YouTube, you can see um, Twitch, like I get your messages immediately. YouTube, although I get your messages immediately, you see my video 30 seconds late. So like, even though I'm responding to you immediately, you don't see my responses for 30 seconds. And that's just because uh, YouTube is YouTube cares more about the quality of what they save because you know they're primarily a video on demand service. YouTube does does do some live streaming, but that's not like their main thing. So they want to make sure that the data that they're storing is is good and high quality. So they they do a lot with the video stream before passing it on. Eight hundred eighty two lives. Jeez. These has to have a power up. Never mind. No power ups. do it. What's the best way for people to support you? They suddenly start watching all your content. So, um, honestly, the best way to support me is to forward, the, forward some of the videos to your friends, see if they like it or not. But if somebody wants to um, support financially, you can type exclamation donate in chat and that'll give you a direct uh, money link where you can just click on that and directly send money. If you want to, by no means do you have to. Um, and any money that comes in, 100% of that money goes directly towards uh, paying for an editor, which means that the videos will be higher quality, and more importantly, I can take some nights off of editing <laughs> by by, uh, by hiring a professional to handle it for me. But again, like just watching the videos honestly is a ton of support. Like that that there's there's ad revenue from that. There's um it increases the stats. Sharing the video with friends helps out a ton too. Why is this a ghost mushroom? Like there's there's tons of ways to help that don't involve money at all.
Okay, what's the deal here? Hi, Dewosie, how are you doing? I'm back here. I was already here. Oh yeah, the, the editor is fantastic. He's a he's a professional editor who works on this sort of content a lot. Um, he works with Team Panda, which is a big esports organization. He's he's just fantastic. I would like double capes. Give me both capes, please. Nope. I haven't been in here. Okay, so I lose my P-switch as soon as I go through a door, so let's hit it first. Could go left when I go through the gray door. Oh, okay. Let's give that a shot. I think you should stream Friday night on Twitch. Uh, yeah, if I if I do stream things that aren't family friendly, I think Twitch is going to be the way to go. Now, the games itself, I'm going to trust people to only click on the games that that you know they want to watch. So, for instance, I will probably have on YouTube some videos of some more you know perhaps violent games, but uh, those would be things that people would know. Oh, this is clearly not content for kids before they click on. Um, but like, as far as every way that I act and the language I speak in and everything like that, that's always 100% going to be uh, family friendly. And um, if I'm interacting with people who might not be family friendly, uh, I want to make sure that's on Twitch because, you know, I, I want I want everybody feeling safe clicking uh, clicking on links on on YouTube, knowing exactly what they're going to get. Um, this is my first time playing this, so I wouldn't say that it's easy. It's it's a very different physics engine. Things don't expect the way I expect them to act. The controls are different. So I'm slowly learning uh, how to do this. Oh, okay. After I take that, he becomes violent. He was fishing for me, and then when he got me, now he doesn't like me anymore. I'm going to take you out. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> I missed. No, I lost my shell. Let's run. New shell. There we go. Snipe. Can I ride in your cloud? Yes, I can. Wow, the cloud moves slowly. I don't like this at all. Couldn't take that. Put that with. What system did I have growing up? Uh, I started with the Nintendo NES. Uh, then I got the N64. Uh, actually, NES and Sega Genesis. I did a lot of Sega Genesis, like the original Sonic games. And that's something else I want to go back and play as well. Uh, especially with the Sonic movie coming out, there's a lot of hype on Sonic. A lot of people searching on Google and YouTube for Sonic stuff. So I figured I'd probably throw out some Sonic videos to, to cash in on that a little bit. If you release jump wall falling... You can fall slower. So that is one thing that I did figure out, um, is that you can control your fall speed in this game. Um, the way I found that out was I was testing uh, my ability to to do ROM hacks. So I do have Super Dram World loaded on my flash cart. And um, that starts off with you just falling to your death immediately. And if you don't hold the jump button, you just die. So it was like, oh, I learned that. Like, that's, that's the very first thing that happens in the game when you first start out. Oh, I already have the checkpoint. Was I trying to get the checkpoint when I already had it? Yeah, the physics is just a little bit different. No! I played Bowser's Fury. I have not. The most recent Mario game I've played... Uh, mainline Mario game I've played is probably the 3DS 3D World. Or 3D Land, or whatever it's called. Dude, Lakitu is just sniping me. He's like, he's got it in for me. Pipe. 
All right, this seems like an opportune moment for me to try and learn how to do a shell jump. Oh! I was not expecting any of these coins. No, I wanted to... Turn to blocks? No, you don't. You just disappear. Okay, we're gonna try and learn how to shell jump here, because I think I can go into that pipe and I want to try. I've never tried a shell jump on the actual Super Nintendo version of this. Let's see how this goes. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to stand or anything. That did not work at all. We're gonna we're gonna learn this though. The fourth challenge run, not so easy. Yeah, I could see the P switch music being stressful. I mean it, it's like time is ticking. It really wants you to feel that that pressure of the, the time ticking away. It, it did just occur to me that uh that uh a shell jump is completely unnecessary here. I've got a coop I can just jump off of. No! Wow, did you guys see that? I want into that pipe. Now, when you guys are talking about the worst death I've ever had, that's it, right there. Worst death, worst death. I'm sitting there waiting for the guy to come, and then I just jump off the edge as soon as he gets here. There we go. Yeah, I knew I could go into that pipe. It's a secret exit! Knew there was a reason to go there. If I see this, I'm a legend. I am a legend. We already knew that. Whoa, okay. Okay. This is very. It's making me dizzy. Alright, just pause buffering a little bit because I wanted that coin. Yeah, this is, this is not good for my eyes. This is, this is, I apologize if this is nauseating anybody. This level is, um, a little bit extra Nintendo. You really didn't have to do this. Oh no, I'm trying to boop him from underneath. this level to end. We're, we're, we're not trying anything fancy on this level, I just want to beat it as quickly as possible. <laughs> Super Mario 4? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Chris Pratt, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the Mario movie. I was not looking forward to the Sonic movie, and then I saw it, and I was like, it could be just because I went into the first Sonic movie with such low expectations that I liked it. So, yeah. Oh, have a good time picking up the girlfriend, and thanks for hanging out. It's really appreciated. Yeah, no problem. Any Anybody who comes in and says hi, that's, that's all we want to do. We just want to hang out. We want to have a good time. All right. Oh. How much do you think it costs to, like, set up one of those crushing things? Oh. I was too close. I waited until just the right time to jump right into that saw blade. Odyssey's too short. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, Odyssey, the main the main thing for me in Odyssey was I really wanted to play that New York level. And then when I got to the New York level, I kind of stopped playing. Okay. We know it's coming now. Uh-oh. I could use a mushroom. This is very stressful without a mushroom.
Yeah. That's fine. Not yet. Oh, okay, that sawblade's just flying at me. That's nice. I don't like this one bit. Okay, we're through there. Yeah, I have I have concerns about the Mario movie too, but I don't know. They do it like the Sonic movie, I'll be happy. Really did not expect much from that, and then it turned out to be acceptable. Got a spin jump there, got a spin jump. Oh man, we're starting at the beginning again? No, no checkpoints. New York Donk level. Yeah, Mario with humans was interesting. I do like the retro Mario styles, honestly. Um, but I mean, New Soups... New Soups is is like the mixing of old and new. I think New Soups and Mario Maker is definitely the, the best way to go. 3D World is just too much. Like, you're trying to be 3D on 2D. It's just not going to happen. I think this is where the door was. Yep. Hi, Lyra, how you doing? There we go, get that power up. Hi, Ezra, how are you doing? Hi, Marco. How's it going? There we go. Now we know. We know what to do there now. And we're despawning all of these saw blades. Oh, what? I spun right onto that one. Where am I from? I'm from the east coast of the US. Yeah, they could have done a lot more with the moon. I still don't have a checkpoint. Okay, this level is, is, is tedious. Hi, Super Aluminum. How are you doing? Tired? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what? I held right the same time that I did every time I've played this before and I made it there. This is the actual regular Super Mario World because I've never played it. Um, I'm playing this to learn how to play it before I start playing ROM hacks. So, I will be starting ROM hacks soon. <laughs> yeah, Lyra, I, I completely get that. Oh, oh boy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we got this, we got this. I can, I've, I've had some moments in this game so far where it's like, really? That's happening? Oh, Mario 64. I'm looking forward to replaying that one. And one of the reasons that I got the, um, the flash cart for the N64 is I really want to play uh, Mario 64 ROM hacks too. There's not anywhere near as many of those as there are for Super Mario World. This game right here is the most, you know, put out in ROM hack format. I still do want to, um, play a lot of that stuff and uh and there's a new uh ocarina of time rom hack i heard about gold quest i want to play that one too yeah i kind of wish they gave you the ability to spin on saw blades in super mario maker 2 i feel like that would be a lot more fun but i mean they gave you yoshi they gave you the boot they gave you a lot of different ways that you can interact with uh with saw blades already so i can't be too disappointed about that okay we're just gonna boost on through here with our iframes. Hmm. Boss door or mystery path. Mystery path. Mystery path. I don't know what the deal with mystery path is. Maybe if I had a cape I could do mystery path. I do not. I want that. Though. Really? Really, Sawblade? The best pet? Oh, it depends on who you are. I mean, who you are determines what, what sort of pet you'd, uh, you'd like the most. I'm a dog person. Nope. Alright, alright, alright. I'm just burning lives here, so I'm gonna take a second. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop dying now. We know where the boss door is. We know how to get to the boss door. We're just gonna do that now. better thank you so much for the uh for the two uh euro super tip i'm, I'm happy you can see this live it, it means a lot to me that i uh, that you would contribute oh no that's my fault that's 100 percent my fault but thank you for that that that, that means a lot uh, so yeah again if anybody wants to give anything it is not at all required it is appreciated but by no means required um if anybody does give anything that money goes directly towards uh paying for a video editor the way the videos uh can be a little bit higher quality than i do when i'm editing i'm, I'm not that great of an editor um but also it means i can take a night off from editing which <laughs> that that's the best part honestly for me being able to take a night off of editing so thank you very much uh that means a lot to me thank you wolf better Yeah, I'm also looking at doing uh, memberships on the channel, but um, I have some questions for Nintendo before I do that. The, one of the questions being, does Nintendo allow their content to be in videos that are marked as members only? Because I do a lot of runs, a lot of runs that just don't work out. Expert, super expert runs, like maybe I'll get a ridiculous level, like three vi you know, levels in, and then it just ruins the entire video and I can't use it. But, you know, I don't want those to be the videos that I put out every day, but what if I could take that and kind of make it like a, you know, an extra footage sort of thing, and I would love to do that, throw those up there, no editing at all done on them as members only, but I need to know that Nintendo's okay with that because you do not want to be on the wrong side of Nintendo. You're, you, Nintendo is like Disney. You get into a fight with them, you, you lose. You're not winning. Okay. I want that. There we go. Alright, boss fight time. Oh, I don't know if that game bundle's still available. I've seen people fight this in ROM hacks! I think it's called Reznor or something like that. What? Reznor. Okay, yeah, it says that right there on it. Reznor. I don't know if the itch.io bundle for Ukraine is still available. But hopefully. I mean, I really enjoyed a lot of the games that were on there. Celeste being on there was fantastic. Yeah, Nintendo and Disney both have a lot of lawyers. And they think about everything from the lawyer standpoint. I'm amazed that, um, that ROM hacks have thrived as well as they have with Nintendo clearly being opposed to them, but I mean, like, legally Nintendo can't do anything. ROM hacks do not contain uh, Nintendo proprietary files in them, so... If anyone's unfamiliar with how ROM hacks work, it's, r it's a really interesting idea. ROMs are basically copies of games, right? And a ROM hack is a modified version of the game. Well, for stuff like uh, Mario ROM hacks, what they do... They do not give you the full copy of the ROM hack game. They send you a patch file, which is a file that you run through an executable and it modifies your own copy of the game. So you have a ROM for, let's say, Super Mario World, and the ROM hack is just a patch file, which then takes your copy of Super Mario World, uh, takes all the, the information from it that they need to, uh, to make the game. There's the cave, so I can fly to the bonus area. And, um, and basically modifies it without containing any Nintendo proprietary files. Right, I want to fly to the end of this. You gotta be kidding me! Guess we're fighting Reznor. Wow, that was that was disappointing. Can I jump high enough for that? 
Did I win? Yeah, I won. Okay, so I have to stay alive long enough after I get that lasted in. Yeah, Nintendo and Disney do like to lawyer up about a lot of things. Alright, ooh, what is this? Star Road. Was I on a secret path this whole time? I was unaware I was on a secret path. Let's go. These are supposed to be like really hard levels, right? Eat him. Eat him. Blue shells! No, I wanted you to eat the blue shells! When do you turn into regular Yoshi? Like, how often do I have to feed you? You're, you're getting a little needy here. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I'm getting ready for my Yoshi ditch because I don't know what's coming. No! Bye, Yoshi. Really disappointed in your decision to jump off the edge there, Yoshi. Looks like I'd be able to go up there. Yeah. Alright, I got a blue shell, but I have no Yoshi. Well, that's the end. Let's go. Oh, and it turns into a mushroom? That's cool. Yeah, Nintendo throws out DMCA's for a lot of things, especially Pokemon hacks. Oh man, they got a serious problem with Pokemon hacks. <laughs> Red Yoshi eat everything. So, um... I feel like I wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go? It looks like this might lead down south. Did I take a secret exit from this level, or am I looking for a secret exit? I don't remember. I think this was my big one-up level, which is good, because I could kind of use some one-ups right now. Yoshi, don't do that. Not this level? I don't really understand the whole bubble situation and like how I'm supposed to interact with them. No, I didn't get my mushroom. Alright, I remember that. None of those were power up. None of these were either. There's Chuck. Hey, Chuck. One of you? No, perhaps not. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the exit I took, right? And it's just the regular exit. I tried Hollow Knight. I've played a little bit of Hollow Knight, but I want to do a full playthrough of Hollow Knight. There's so many games I really want to play, and it's just like, I need... I need... Uh, the editor to edit more, and me to edit less, so that way I have time to play more games. But that's gonna take a while, because it's it's gonna... So basically, I have to get to the point where my YouTube videos are getting probably... Uh, six to seven times the amount of views that they're getting now, to the point where I can just have the editor edit everything. I'm looking for a secret exit. Who's in the pipe? This just looks like this is one-ups. Yeah, yeah, we got one. One. The Ten Lives of the Star, but wait, they give you a nice fanfare. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out, like, how to get out- oh no. That's not good. Bye, Yoshi. I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of this forest. I feel like this has got to be the path since it's the furthest south one, and I feel like I'm leaving the forest through the south, but like... I feel a little confused. Hey, Solana, how are you doing? What is the... what am I doing? How do I get out of here? Forest is too maze-like.
Nope, oh, well, that'll finish me. Gotta fly over the flag. Um, yeah, so I'm on this Force of Illusion 3. This one also has multiple exits. I tried all the pipes and I couldn't get anything there. Oh, I remember this one. I definitely took a secret exit from this one. This was the one where I was spending forever trying to get that shell jump. Okay, so this is definitely where I want to be. And we're just going to take the regular exit on this one. I went with star power because I could use some 1-ups. I need enemies to touch. Oh, ran out of enemies to touch. Okay, so this is the path I never went right here. We're gonna do this. Ooh, fire flower, yes, please. Okay, there we go. So I think this will do something. I just saw I got a text from the wife. <laughs> She's telling me that I should have come to the baby shower or a baby shower. I'm good. What? It just connects to this other level. Go to one. Yeah, I probably need to go back to one to get more one-ups. But it looks like there's an alternate level here, too. How much can lock a tube bench? That's a great question. Hi, Cole. How are you doing? Let's get my Yoshi. Yoshi, stop doing this. Oh, there's the one up here. I remember this one. Yeah. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like I took damage somehow. No, this is the... I wanted the star power there. So I'm going to intentionally die here, because I want star power. No, my, my wife is not pregnant, but but she's going to a baby shower for, for a friend who is pregnant. I don't know. I feel like baby showers are clearly like a, a, a woman thing. Like... The, the baby showers I've been to have been just all women. Um, it's not really a thing that, that I've seen guys at. I went to one once and it was very awkward. Okay. There. I need that. Alright, we got the star power. So now we can just get a bunch of lives. And while we're here, we're going to look for an alternate exit. There, oh, there it is, right underneath me. Okay, that's the alternate exit. What do I get there? Oh, the pea balloon. That's how I get there. Okay. So that's gonna be my key, right? Yep. Um, takes a while to change back, I guess. So hopefully this will get me out of this maze. I doubt it, but... Okay. It has to be this one, right? Alternate level is in number two, the one in the pond. Okay, we'll try that one then. Mario 3 Kaizo or Mario World Kaizo? Um, Mario World Kaizo is definitely more popular than Mario 3 Kaizo. But I want to play both. The problem is for the NES, when it comes to flash carts, you don't have that many options. Uh, I'd love to get an EverDrive. But currently, uh, the, the maker of EverDrive and all that stuff... Um, is a single port. There, there's this group, um, and it's run by this guy named like Rix. I'm probably saying the name wrong, but he's located out of Ukraine, and uh, he was really close to the the border uh, between Ukraine and Russia. So unfortunately, his stuff is no longer available, um, which leaves me with uh, just being able to buy this this other thing called the Nintendo Power Pack, uh, which is not actually from Nintendo. So you know, probably shouldn't say Nintendo before that. But the problem with the Power Pack is that it seems like it's way worse than the EverDrive. So it's like, uh... The bottom one? Okay, everybody's saying it's the bottom one. I thought it was the bottom one, but I couldn't find anything in the bottom one. Ooh, my game slowed down a lot there. Okay. Clearly we're pushing the limits of the Super Nintendo hardware right here. 
get out of this area. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what that was. But the Super Nintendo did not like being there. What I do want to do, uh, so for instance, ADEF just put out a Super Mario 1 ROM hack. And I really wanted to play that, but the problem is, again, I don't have a, uh, a uh, NES flash cart. So I was actually thinking about buying a power pack. The problem is it's like 130 bucks, and it's inferior to the EverDrive. So it's like, I don't, I don't know about spending that much money and then getting something that's inferior. I remember this one. All the blue fishes were chasing me, and I just ran to the end. Yeah, this is the regular exit. I'm going back to the bottom one. Does anyone know in the bottom one where this thing is yet, though? Uh, so, Copractic, thanks for coming and thanks for saying that. I'm having a lot of time with, um, or I'm having a lot of fun playing the, the original, um, Super Mario World. It's been on my list to, to play for a long time. Um, in fact, I've really wanted to play this game ever since I was a kid. Um, but I just never had the, uh, the Super Nintendo. Until adulthood, when I just bought my Super Nintendo, uh, like a month ago. Okay, it's a maze. It's near the end of the level. Well, it looks like it checkpointed me near the end of the level already, so that's good. I'm just gonna check every single one of these. Secret pipe? Last green pipe near the end. You know, I don't think I ever tried to go into this pipe. There it is. There it is. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, I would have been stuck here forever. I appreciate that. Now, can I finally get out of this maze of a forest? Okay. We're finally out of the Lost Woods. Link is proud of us. And we can go on to castle number five. Roy's castle. There's only seven castles, right? In this game? Maybe we will finish this game uh, today. That's a snake. It did not look like a snake block to me, but that's definitely a snake. When did... Th this came out in 1990. The original Super Mario Brothers, I think, was 1989. But I think uh, Super Mario World was 1990. Okay. Oh jeez, that like what's the deal here? I don't I don't like that. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. is nineteen eighty five? Okay. It was sometime around then. That we're gonna we're gonna use a mushroom when we get to the end of this section. I'm gonna hold it until we get to the end. But yeah, just in case that thing touches us again, I don't wanna I don't wanna go down and I'm hoping we'll get a checkpoint. Nobody saw that. So one thing um, that I, I want to talk about... Jeez, oh, I keep doing this. One thing I want to talk about is people have been playing, like, you know, the Souls games. Um, Soulsborne games, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, now Elden Ring. And people are saying, man, these games are so difficult. When I was growing up, games were difficult. You know, like, a lot of people said this was their childhood game. Think about how difficult this game is and compare this with, like, the games that are coming out now. Like... This is how difficulty of games used to be. This is this is fairly difficult when you compare this with the modern games that are coming out now, unless you think about like the, the you know the more difficult ones. And the reason was video games started out uh, being run through arcade machines. 
you would put in like a quarter and you would get to play the video game for a while and the idea was um if you died you could put more money in and get another life uh but or you know the games were designed in such a way that you wanted to constantly keep rotating people out and rotating new people in on the games the games were intentionally more difficult then because well they wanted your they wanted your quarters and so when video games uh, transferred to people's houses, that was just the expected and standard difficulty of the games. People were just used to that being how difficult they were. So even though the video games were in people's houses now and they didn't have to pay quarters anymore, that's just how games were. Thing going down? Okay, I'm losing the snake now. I want that. Oh, what? I'm not going for that one up. I need that, I need that. So what we're seeing now with some of these uh, more difficult games, like the Soulsborne games, what we're really seeing is just a return to how things used to be in difficulty. Alright, I don't know what your abilities are, but let's go. Are you just the dude that drops on me? What noise? I will check that in one second. Oh, that's a, on the Facebook side. That's right. I'm actually streaming on Facebook as well. My first time streaming on Facebook. Thank you, Kevin, for the for the for the like. I don't know if Facebook chat actually works on the chat window I'm monitoring or not. I hope it does. It's supposed to show all the chats mixed together, so I'm hoping it's on there from Facebook side. Toy Story game being pretty. Yeah, the games just used to be pretty hard. So, Kevin, I apologize if you're saying something and I don't see- I've never seen a message come in from Facebook. This is my first time streaming on Facebook in addition to the other site, so... I just don't know if it shows me your chat or not. Mario found its way through the Forest of Illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. Dude, are we gonna go to Chocolate Island? Yes! I wanna live in Chocolate Island. This is my new home. I'm- I'm- I'm never leaving Chocolate Island. Whoa! That's cool. Boink. Boink. Okay. They're, they're like little baby... I don't know what they are. Kind of like Triceratops or something, or Rhinos? What is Dinosaur Island? So I'm guessing they're dinosaurs. No! What? What just happened? I got shot out of there. No! Okay, okay. We're getting that checkpoint. I think we're getting that checkpoint. There we go. You get so much in-air maneuverability in this game. I'm not used to this from, from like, Mario Maker. Ah. Let's go. That was not great. Don't stand in front of them. I like standing in front of them. <laughs> Mario is missing. Oh, yeah. I heard a lot about that one. Wasn't that like um, on, on the old computer systems? Yeah. Was this the Yoshi? Yeah, this is the Yoshi. You, Yoshi? Yoshi's gonna Yosh. Okay, oh, there's the dolphin things I've seen in so many ROM hacks. Okay. This is bad. This is very bad. This is, this is... Okay, I'm just gonna try and dolphin surf. Okay, <laughs> so we made it. We made it. We made it through the dolphins. I feel like I'm supposed to be holding run and right when I come out of that cannon. I don't know how I was meant to know that, though. Whoa, you can't trigger those by throwing a spring at them. 
Well, that's new. I didn't know that. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, have a great day. Don't... Yeah, if, if you come back before it ends, I'd love to have you back. But again, don't don't worry about it. Just just you being here for for the brief time you could be here. That's that's all that matters, really. I mean, I'm just I appreciate it. Ah, I appreciate it whenever anybody comes by. And don't worry if you gotta leave. Yeah, at this point in time, I feel like I just want to finish this game today. I'm also off work tomorrow, so I might do something tomorrow. I'm not sure what. I did recently play Multiversus. Man, that's a fun game. Okay, I had to ditch Yoshi. I didn't want to ditch Yoshi, but I'm not really sure how I was supposed to do what I was supposed to do there. Oh, they swallow you in Mario 2. Hi, Cole. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Choco Ghost House. These ghosts are made of chocolate. Yeah. No. Oh, we made it. We made it. Uh, the blocks are moving. Oh, because they're ghosts. This is all very confusing to me. Yoshi! Yep, I'm playing on the Super Nintendo. One of the upsides of playing on the Super Nintendo is I've got, like, my actual Super Nintendo controller. Uh, one of the downsides is that if I was in an emulator, I could put, like, a little overlay on the screen. That way you could see um, what buttons I'm pressing when. I think I found the uh, the way that I would plan on holding the controller um, when I started doing ROM hacks. And uh, let me show you guys that real quick. I'll probably plan on holding the controller like this. Like this. So I got my run, I got my jump, and I got my spin. So this is this is probably the best way to hold it I've seen so far. But this f might tire out my fingers quickly, so we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, it spun right into them. Welcome back, newbie. How are you doing? Oh yeah, strange flowers. Those would make a lot of sense to have in Mario Maker 3. They are so annoying, but I feel like they would really fit in. No, he turned around on me. Um, this is great for playing Mario Maker. For ROM hacks, I really wish I could twirl with the with the bumper buttons. Um, so I'm gonna let you know how I feel about ROM hacks because because spinning is so important in ROM hacks. Uh, I don't I don't feel like the controller layout is the best for that. If there's a way to modify the controller that way, like my my shoulder buttons, my left and right, will will do the spin instead of the the A button. That would be ideal, but I just don't know if that's something possible or not. But I absolutely love this controller from Mario Maker. I have become a much better player since I started using this controller. But oh come on, it turned back on me. Ghost houses. But it does exhaust my fingers a lot quicker because you have to hold it like like this. Whereas you know when you're holding an actual pro controller or something, you've actually got like the the little holding parts down here and. It's much more comfortable for your hand. Okay. I'm pretty sure I saw people in ROM hacks spinning off of that little blue flame that he's holding. I thought I could do that, so either I missed and I hit it from the side, or I can't do that.
I do not like this ghost guy up top. This is the worst thing ever. There's remapping software for the 8-bit? Okay. Uh, did I play Minecraft in my dream? Yes, I am dream. It's time for me to tell the world. You heard it here fo first, folks. Okay, that time it didn't hurt me. I think he's kind of teleporty, though. That's fine. We're just going to run on through here and get to that door as quickly as possible. Go through it and hopefully never have to deal with him again. That's where if this was an edited video, you would hear the bonk sound effect. It's definitely a bonk moment right there. Yeah, I had to modify my Pro Controller to make the D-pad a little bit better. This, this is... This is the hardest level I've played so far. This is up there with the blue fish. And a large part of the difficulty is that guy above me. He's like kind of teleporting around. He just like snaps. Oh, but there's a pattern to his movements. Okay, I see it. Now he goes right to left to left to right. I'm getting my power up through. Yeah, I got the power up through. I need that. I need that. Guys, guys, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. That didn't happen. Yeah, this is definitely burning through lives fast. If I get... If I die again, I'm gonna go back and get some more lives. this fire flower and survive with it you know I feel like I made it to this section on my first life it's like it's like what happens to me in Mario Maker my first life I do really well and then in all subsequent lives I just make really silly mistakes who is this one up can I make it up here I feel like I want to be up there, but I don't know how to get up. Oh, do I have to take the the no looking blocks? You guys come with me. We're going on an adventure together. Okay, just one of you. I can probably do this with just one of you. There we go. Hey, it's the end. Let's get out of here. I practically can't game over because of Forced, yeah. Oh, thank you, Rahul. I appreciate that. Chocolate Island 2. Okay. Before I game over, I'm going to go get some more lives. I found my method, it works for me. Just get that star power and then hug everybody for 10 lives real easy. Yoshi! Sorry Yoshi. It was you were the one up and well. I made my decision. All 
Alright, that's, uh, that's a good bit of one-ups. I should be good to continue on. Oh, that makes sense. Constantly flying on them. Oh, the dinos. Here, the coins you collect or the time remaining can change your progress. You find the special goal? What? Coins and time? This is confusing to me, but okay. Roblox stream win? Probably no Roblox streams. Okay, so Yoshi swallowed the spring. Yoshi, that's not good for you. I prefer that you don't eat springs. Uh-oh. Eh, yeah, whatever. Bye, Yoshi. Hey, Bubble! Bubble Biscuit, how are you doing? Oh, that's a lot of dragons. I hit something up there. Something slowed me down up here. Okay, you know what? We're touching the goal. Look. Yoshi knew what Yoshi signed up for. If Yoshi didn't want to be dropped off of a cliff, Yoshi probably shouldn't have hung out with Mario. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to count as hitting it on the head or not if I... Go for that jump. Hmm, I'm gonna go down there. Or, yeah. Nope. Nice case, Scott. There was a waiver, exactly. Yoshi signed the waiver. I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Super Mario World. Hi, Gregors, how are you doing? I am doing my first playthrough of Super Mario World. Game came out like 30 years ago, 32 years ago, and I'm I'm just now getting around to trying it. Uh, I had I had a lot to do over the last 32 years. I just couldn't find time. Can I go up there? Yes, I can. Oh, Yoshi's doing the time work. Oh, this is cool. Whee! Okay, cool. No! 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 No. Makes sense. We can check the code. See what happens to Yoshi. Man, ran right into that Koopa. But on the bright side, I am starting to get the physics engine down for this game pretty good, which means I think I will be able to adjust relatively well to ROM hacks. Relatively well. 
I mean, they're still extremely difficult. I'm gonna die a ton of times doing them, but you know, I, I feel like I'm I'm gonna I've got a good head start. I'm, the speed, like he just speeds, like like it's not a gradual speed up like it is in, in newer games. It's just suddenly Mario will be running for a while and it's like, oh, and now you're running really fast. Yeah, better late than never, exactly. Hi, Wii Gaming, how are you doing? There we go. I got tired of him touching me, so I just threw a shell at him. the checkpoint. And a cape. I gotta see how far this cape can take me. Okay, this is right where I came out after I did the um, that little secret area where I got a bunch of coins. Extra cape. I need it. There we go. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got that extra cape. I did need it. Hey, an extra extra cape. We can keep this going all day. Interesting. Yeah. Hi, Moyan. How are you doing? El Harby? Okay, I should probably go with El Harby then. You seen the Golden Koopa yet? One that follows you? I don't think I have. Wait, what? It's taking me back where I came from? I already did this level. What's going on here? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I already, I already did all this. Clearly there's something going on here that I don't understand. Hey Chewy Bat, how are you doing? Oh wait, Chewy Bat finally is on Twitch! It finally happened! Chewy Bat's on Twitch! Yeah, Chewy Bat taking up all of the top spots for most popular levels, like, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> but for real though, you're doing, you're doing great. Okay, this is... I, I climbed up to the top last time, but I just not climbed to the top this time? There's more. Was that a fake ending? Paper Bagman, thanks for hanging out. Have a great one. This level was weird. Oh, okay. I think we're I think we're getting close to the end of this game. I think we're almost about to hit the sixth dungeon. Okay, I've seen these spear things in ROM hacks a bunch. That's fine. I'll just pick up both of these feathers that dropped. Back from camping. No. If anything, I think you've gone up in the leaderboards. Oof. That's bad. Oops. Yeah. No.
Okay, this this is starting to get a little bit more intense here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's the best. Thank you, Green Pea Switch. <laughs> yeah, Chewy, Chewy's making some pretty good difficult ones, yeah. Wimps. Oh, okay. Find the Resners again. Nice. Was that it? Tell me we did it. Alright, I'm stoked. Twenty lives left. We're going to the castle. Nope, we're not going to the castle. I thought we would be going to the castle. We got a little bit more before castle. Oh, thank you, Jetpack. I appreciate that. Hi, Helene. Yep, I'm, I think we're going to be the game today. I think. I said the game should be about five hours long on average for people. Uh, let's see, we're about three hours in now. I think I'll beat this game in around three and a half, four hours. I took a, a detour there for a while to explore a bit. Um, but now I'm actually back to focusing on, on just completing stuff. And that looks like that's the OG blue platform right there. The gray platform. Hmm. Let me get that one up I saw. Is this death? We're not going for that one up again. I guess I'm streaming the whole game in one sitting. I mean, probably not like all the, the hidden exits and stuff, but I mean like, you know. Just, just beating the game at least. I mean, I did that with, with Celeste. Um, I do that with Monster Hunter Rise sometimes. I'm actually thinking I might do a Monster Hunter Rise speed run. I'm off work tomorrow. Oh, geez, I made that. I'm off work tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe I'll just do a speed run for Monster Hunter Rise or something. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, if I get ahead on my editing, I might do another stream, but no promises. If I do stream, probably either be like a tutorial Kaizo hack or... Um, or like a speed round of Monster Hunter. What's the deal there? I think I need to wait. I think I need to wait. We're just gonna jump on it and then sit and wait. I'm being too impatient and that's why I'm dying. Oh, okay, I guess I just clip up there. There we go. That's the blue platform. Okay, we're back where we were. Oh, there's them all. Do I usually stream at this hour? I don't know about that. Um, I, I do think I want to start streaming Sundays. I think 2 p.m. is a great time to do it because there's a lot of people in Europe that can't usually watch me. And 2 p.m. my time on uh, New York time is late in Europe, but it's not super late in Europe. So like, I think it's it's a good time that won't be too early for me, but will also give me the option for uh, for the Europeans to check in. Um, and then my usual stream time is like, you know, 5 or 6 p.m., which is great for the Americans and the Asians. It's early for the Asians, but for the Americans, it's like right after work. This is where the mole got me, right? Yep. Can't slide on the mole? I thought I could slide. Okay. All right, we're just going to jump on him next time then. I'm learning what works and doesn't work. I really thought a slide would work.
Yeah, a lot of people play silently because they have to focus. Um, I'm very good at talking while doing other things, but every once in a while you'll see me be very quiet while playing something difficult. Um, okay, I just, I ride him. I guess I can't really do anything to defeat him, but I just, I just ride him. Yeah, I try to do my best to explain what's going on while I'm playing and provide some input, but you know, for people who can't, it, it, it could just be because the game is taking up all of their focus, and I completely get that. Oh, and Saudi, it's midnight. Yeah, it's it, it, when I started. You know, I started around what um, 9 p.m. Saudi time. That's not too terrible, unless you wake up super early. But the great thing about uh, streaming on YouTube like this is that everything that I'm streaming, uh, I should have just crossed the goal. I was I was practicing bouncing off of Chucks because you know the whole point of this is for me to practice before I start doing ROM hacks. But like I was at the end, I should have I should have just just beaten it. We're going straight for the ending this time. No 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 playing with Chuck. Yep, Highland Dude, and uh, when we end, I think uh, we'll be able to go check out your latest video. I'm looking forward to uh, to showing some people that. No, I didn't get my jump. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Uh, Dwayne, thanks for the sub on YouTube. What did I do that? Okay, you know what? It worked out. But I'm being really reckless and impatient, and I need to not be doing that. There we go. Nope, oh, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Right, this is where Chuck is, right? We're just jumping for the end. We're just we're just going to the end. Well, Paul, thanks for showing up. Yeah, I'm I'm about to get to uh to the Bowser underwater lava-ish area, I think. Oh no, one more level before Castle Six. And then I think I saw the seven sign when I went underground, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the finale. Okay, let's let's get Yoshi before we press that P switch and everything becomes awful. I want that. Thank you. Ooh, one ups. Yes, please. Nice. Oops. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting that one up. Chuck. Bye, Chuck. That's so many Chucks. Nice. We got the 40 points. Oh, we're almost, uh... Actually, no, this should trigger the bonus room. Nice. Okay, so we can get more one-ups here. Let's go. Ooh, it sounds like my wife is back home. Oh, I'm straight up missing these. This... I don't think I get anything there. <laughs> so the jump timing is completely different when you're on a Yoshi for that. Okay. So here we go. Castle 6. Wendy's Castle. Hopefully I can... Oh no, I left Yoshi behind. Bye, Yoshi. Nope. Oh, I was unaware that that was going to happen. That's on me. Yeah, they were very well hidden through the ceiling. I couldn't even see them. No! <laughs> I almost made it through.
I'll stay here and wait. I'm gonna go forward one more this time, just right here. I I'm confused how that one killed me, but okay. Yeah, oh yeah, short just came out two minutes ago, that's right. Me and my me and my schedules. Thank you. My wife is home. I think she wants me to check my phone, so next time I die, I'm going to take a quick break and take a look at my phone. Let's try standing here. Maybe I'll magically live while I'm standing here. There we go. Okay. None of those look like they're going oh I see the I see the challenge here. Alternative plan. There we go. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, checking my phone real quick to see. Ooh, nice. The neighborhood pool is open. I can start getting exercise there. How to upload a short while I was live? Uh, everything I do is scheduled. So people will be like, oh man, you're up super early to do your uploads for your YouTube videos. Nah, I finish them the night before. I just schedule everything to come out at a specific time. I like the consistency. I mean, so some people want to watch the videos like as soon as they come out. And I feel like having a set time when the videos come out every day is, is the best for that. So, uh, the regular videos come out while I'm asleep every day. I'm I'm not awake that early in the morning to put those videos out. And so the shorts come out at 5 p.m., which just just happened. So, oh, <laughs> almost got got there. This one pounds really fast. Okay. All right, there we go. I spin off this? Yes. Back up, mushroom. Nice. I don't think I want to be here. Let's go. Yeah, for that short, today's short's a little bit different. In today's short, I decided I was actually going to do some uh, some optimization and speed run a level. It was a level that came in. I was like, "Ooh, I found some giant cheese in this level. Let's see. Uh, let's see how optimized we can do a run of this level." Okay, this is whack a mole. The windy is a whack a mole style fight. Okay. Did I get that mushroom. I lost the mushroom. There we go, though. You beat it. Without the mushroom. Yeah, the spin, like... I'm, I'm, I'm noticing how good this spin is. This spin is super powerful. Thank you. Oh. Um, is, that, is that a paintbrush? Did he just paint it to look like the background? Windy O. Koopa, in castle number six, has sung her last song. Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. There is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Oh, maybe Bowser's World 8? Because are we going to a water area now? Sunken ghost ship. This, this sounds terrifying. Oh no, I'm underwater. At least I'm on Yoshi. Yo, what? You guys see that? Boom, that cannon is just firing underwater. Cannons shouldn't work underwater. Hold it, Bill, makes no sense. Alright, I guess I'm going into that pipe. Hmm? 
Okay, okay, we got- nope, we don't- Yoshi, Yoshi, I need you to- Yoshi, I need you to chill for a second. They're just ghosts. Ghosts can't kill dinosaurs, probably. Okay, cool. The Mushroom Kingdom used to have such a such a firm grasp on reality until just now. When they started shooting me underwater. I go into pipe. There we go. Star power. I see you, Koopa. You thought you could escape me? This is very weird. I take it this is just falling into the Valley of Bowser, like that's what's happening now. Am I supposed to jump into that pit? I feel like I'm just supposed to jump down. Don't kill me, game. Don't kill me. Okay. Yoshi! Oh, the orb! This is where the orbs start. Okay. Mario, fix your game. Well, that looks awfully threatening. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Okay, it's time to do this. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna beat this. <gasps> Yoshi can eat something that big? Dang, Yoshi, you hungry. Yoshi is very hungry. What do I... I just eat it again. Okay. No, Yoshi. No, Yoshi. That's bad. Oh. Okay, I guess we're back up top. Chuck gonna come crashing through. I'm guessing there's another Chuck coming. Never mind. Guess we're not going back that way. Yoshi, no. Bye, Yoshi. Yoshi, you did that to yourself. First way to miss the one-ups is when you just jump over. Right, I'm at 17 lives. 17 should be good. 17 should be good. Is that a second checkpoint? I would like another checkpoint. Hmm. You know what? Let's just let's just get out of here. Already been here. Why did it take me backwards? Okay, so this is where I was, and I went up there, and then it took me back. This is new. Oh, the mole levels. Yeah, the moles are not kind. There's a lot going on down there. Yep. Exactly. Yoshi just decides to jump off of a cliff. Not my fault Yoshi's doing that. Wait, what? 
I guess I dropped it instead of kicking it. Let's let's learn how to interact with that block. But I clearly did that wrong. There we go. Into the pipe. Hey. All right. First level of Bowser Dad. Valley of Bowser Part 2. This level feels threatening. I don't know why, but something about this level just feels threatening. Oh, it's a rainbow shell! Hi, Super Sa Satan. How are you doing? He wants the apples and stuff that grow down there. Mario can't wait forever. Pretty much. Yoshi's just hungry all the time. Okay, so this is where I died last time. We're gonna get that mush. You know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna kick a shell into a place where it bounces back and forth really quickly. Like that. Okay, there we go. Oh no! Nice. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. You've got a life to live. If you want to be here and you can be here, I'm very happy to Okay, what is the deal with this? Like, I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do when I see those flapping wings. Can I spin jump onto it? Like... I feel like I need to go underneath for that one. Will I do Superstar Road? Uh, I don't actually know how to get to Superstar Road. Maybe. Depends on how tired I am once we once we finish the, the base game here. Because I typically stream for about three hours, and I've just reached the three hour threshold. But I feel like... The finale of this game is within our grasp, so I kind of want to do that. Welcome back, newbie. Oh, you swallowed the wings with Yoshi. Okay, I thought it was like showing me that there was an invisible block there or something. Nope. Okay, got back in time. This area is tricky. I can see a lot of kids being very frustrated with this. Yeah, this is... This is rough. People went through this in their childhood. Uh-oh. Okay. Barely made it through that. Yeah, I can see this one being a huge nightmare. This, this is too much. You have to be very analytical about what you're doing. Uh oh well, whatever. I think that's the end. We did it! Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 dun. Nah, I don't really do reaction videos. I pretty much just play games. Like, if anybody's ever looking for me to do something other than playing games, that's probably just not gonna happen, because I like playing games. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, uh, Diz, for that. I really appreciate that. Like, it, it means so much to me when people show up and they say kind stuff like that. Like, to me, it's just, I'm just... What is this? I can jump really far that way. I'm just hanging out, playing games, having a good time, and, you know, so many people are, are watching this stuff and saying kind things about it, and it means a lot to me. Probably need to be more hurried, because that's not anything important. What's this? What's this? What's this? A lot of doors. We're gonna try door number three. Door number three is the winner. Let's go. Unless this was an alternate exit. Was my first Mario game? Um, probably Super Mario 1 or 2. I think I got both at the same time, so I'm not really sure. I'm wondering if that was me just lucking out and the P-Switch timer ending, like, at the right, the right door. Or if, like, all of the doors would take me the right path, or what. Oh, they actually had these things with the numbers on them in... in, uh, an actual Super Mario World? I thought these were, like, a ROM hack only thing where they had, like, the number. That's so cool. I'm dead. Oh, okay, true, but I just, I just got lucky there. Alright, that works. <laughs> That works. <laughs> I forgot to get the, uh, the, the select mushroom I have on top first, though I could turn that into a cape. I'm slowly learning how to play this game. Super Mario 3. I didn't know they made a Game Boy Super Mario 3. Okay, hold on. We're doing this properly. Because I want my cape. I thought I needed to activate all of these. like Because I've seen people do that in ROM hacks. But it's clear to me I don't. I need to keep moving right. They got me. I'm just gonna ride this four. That's a nice big number. Oh boy. The ones do not last very long. Uh, Creator54, thanks for following on the Twitch side. Uh-oh, that's gonna hurt. No! Super Mario World? Yeah. I could see this being a lot of people's first game. This is definitely probably the most popular one. Alright. It's the Koopas that are making this one more difficult. Because they're getting in the way of the paths that I'm trying to take. So if I can just carry a shell with me. Kind of smack any of them out of the, uh, the way that try and get in my way. I clipped on the wall! We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this. Now I've got a shell. Oh yes, a checkpoint. I need that checkpoint so badly. Let's go. Ooh, Kirby was the first? Kirby was awesome. All 
Alright, can I go up into this pipe? No. We're gonna take the spring with us, hopefully. Yeah! And we got a four. And so we're gonna do a one, to a one, a whole bunch of ones up here. Have played Mario Legend of the Seven Stars RPG? I have not. Uh, I think one of my friends, Fuzz, and I did a collab with Fuzz like uh, two months ago, um, like the competitive endless thing that I do. Uh, Fuzz, I think, just finished playing that on, on their Twitch stream. Yeah. Would I ever play it? Um... Probably something I could eventually get around to, but my list of games to play right now is so long. I... Newbie, I mean, I know plenty of, uh, of vegans that played video games where, you know, they would... They would take on animals and stuff. Um, I used to, to date this vegan girl and she played a, uh, a bunch of, um... See, I think Skyrim was out at that point in time. She played a bunch of Skyrim. And, you know, she, she would go out hunting in Skyrim quite frequently. Okay, we somehow survived that. What is the deal here? They're throwing rocks at me and I don't like this. I mean, you know, people that are that are vegan that do it because they, they want to, uh, you know, uh, treat animals properly or whatever, a lot of times they don't object to, uh, the, the video games. I can't speak for everybody, of course. What was the whole point of this level? I'm hoping it takes me forward a bunch. No, this takes me backwards. Well, that's disappointing. Fine? Yeah, fine. Playing a lot of Mario Maker 2, it's hard for me to smoothly go to Mario World. This is, this is a very different experience. Like... Like, one of the main reasons I want- no, bye Yoshi! One of the main reasons I wanted to do this was to get used to the, the difference in the physics engines. Um, because I want to start doing- what was I supposed to know that was there? Because I want to start doing ROM hacks, and I need to get used to the differences before I start- start with that. Most people don't like getting hit with rocks. Four out of five people have a- have a distaste for, uh, being hit with rocks. Fifth person's a weirdo. You guys ever notice like everything's like four out of five dentists recommend such and such? Who is this fifth dentist and why don't they want you to brush their teeth? Like, is it just a money thing? You want to make more money and if you don't brush your teeth, well then uh, they can... Oh, oh, Yoshi can do that? That's cool. They can make more money because now uh, you got to get uh, more cavities filled. How, how am I supposed to know what's down there? Um, Befos, thank you for the follow. Are you that guy with a YouTube Shorts account? I love it. Yes, I am on... I, actually, I'm on the YouTube account right now. So, I had two YouTube accounts. Um, I have the Nigiri and Rune one, which I share with my wife. And then I had Rune Shorts, which was kind of a bit of an experiment. I wanted to see how it would do taking shorts and putting them on a different channel from the main channel. But, um... Uh, about a week or a week and a half ago, I actually took that channel and kind of decommissioned it and moved everything to the Nigiri and Rune channel. If you still want to see shorts, um... Uh, there should be a link to YouTube or maybe type exclamation YouTube in chat and we'll give you the link to the current channel and I'm actually live on there right now. I do almost all my streaming on, on YouTube, but I just figured, hey, you know what? I'm going to start doing this on Twitch too because I'm not a Twitch affiliate, so I can try and uh, increase my discoverability. No. Wait, what? The one-up mushroom floats on the lava? Can I still get it? I can't still get it. Checkpoint. Checkpoint directly above lava. I... Yoshi can eat rocks? Well, that's... Bye, Yoshi! I tried to jump off of Yoshi. I couldn't get it. Four out of five dentists want you to watch Rune. Yeah. The 
Big jump. Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. All right. Ooh. How am I supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to find a bomb or anything like that. Four dentists said yes, and fifth one said no, only because a squirrel crawled up their pants. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is like a huge, huge world. Okay, I feel like this is going to be something crazy here, because we're getting close to the finale, so I'm expecting everything to be like super, super rough. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. You can do it, probably. Am I supposed to go up there? I don't know. Taking me back the way we came. Hmm. Do I have time to get whatever's up there? I did. But I could have just waited to get it anyway. Alright, here we go, here we go. What is... I want to go up... I want to go up where the things are. The one thing I like about how Nintendo is handling the snake is that in Super Mario Maker, a lot of people will just take their snakes and make it straight vertical. If we were in a ghost house, I would ride that down. But we're not. Wow, that was bad. Are you kidding me? What? No. Um, I need a magic Koopa here, don't I? Wow. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the magic Koopa. Magic at me. Okay, can I make it up there? I feel like I can. Okay, now I can definitely make that. Yeah, this is definitely a tough one. Oh, oh man, we're down to five lives. I don't have a checkpoint on this level. Oh no, we gotta do the snake again. Okay, after this death, I need to go back and get some one-ups, because I think we're gonna need them. I've been losing a lot of lives. Right, there's a mushroom here that I would very much like to get. Let's click that while we wait on the snake. Yeah. Yeah, Carrot, go for it if you got something to say. No worries. Oh, no. Want to play a spooky game? I have played uh, one spooky game. I think when we hit like 10k subs on YouTube, I said, you know what? Okay, guys, I will record a spooky game. And I recorded myself playing uh, Phasmophobia by myself in the dark. It's the by myself in the dark part that I had the biggest problem with. Gotta be able to squeeze in there, right? No, we're just gonna wait for Magic Koopa. Really? Magic Koopa had to shoot right between that? Okay, there we go. 
Please be a power up. Thank you. Goodbye, power up. Wait, am I running low on time? Alright, Magic Koopa, do your thing. I can't believe there's like a Nintendo level where like timing out is actually a real concern. Alright, we gotta go get some lives. We gotta go get some lives. Ride the snake block down. See, I was thinking about riding the snake block down. Uh, CD, uh, thanks for coming in. I'm actually about to start on ROM hacks. Uh, so this is my first time playing Super Mario World. And so I'm actually playing on a Super Nintendo and I'm getting used to, um, like the difference in controls and everything. So after this, I will be starting on ROM hacks. And I just wanted to play regular Super Mario World first and kind of learn a little bit about the controls. So it's not such a huge shock when I go into ROM hacks. So I've heard they're extremely difficult. And before I take on that difficulty, I kind of want to give myself a, a fair chance of of knowing some of the intricacies and differences. But yes, ROM hacks will be starting soon. I'm very much looking forward to that. So that's one of the big differences right there. In Super Mario Maker, when you are riding a Yoshi and you get knocked off the Yoshi, you have iframes. But in Super Mario World, once you get knocked off the Yoshi, you can immediately take damage again. So, little things like that I'm just trying to learn. The different things that I can and can't spin off of as well. And like, that right there, like I kind of just slid off that thing. Learned to, yeah, so a lot of people have recommended Learn to Kaizo. There's supposedly like an update to Learn to Kaizo that is about to come out or just came out. And the person who's working on that uh, told me that they would um, send me like maybe a, an advanced copy or something. That way I could kind of give feedback on it and be one of the, the first people to try it. So after this, I'm going to be reaching out to them and saying, hey, I'm, I'm ready to start on that, uh, that training hack that you have. I initially thought I would just jump straight into Super Dram World because, um, yeah, I don't mind a challenge. But I'm not sure how entertaining it would be for people to try and watch me uh, learn something like that and then spend like hours getting like one clear. This is my farming spot. No! Whatever. I hate you.exe? Uh, probably not. That doesn't sound like something that's up my alley. And now I can't, I can't jump to my death to reset that because I don't have... Another life. This is, this is not a great situation to be in right here. So my plan... I need to be very careful. I'm at serious risk of game over here. Wait, can I just do this? And come back at my checkpoint? I can! Oh man, I've been killing myself for no reason in this game. ROM hacks are modified versions of games, so in this case what I'm talking about is a modified version of Super Mario World, uh, where it's a much more difficult thing. So they've changed um, the levels around a lot, um, you have to do like item abuse, a bunch of other really tight precision jumps, stuff like that. What thing happened? Uh, Isabel, thank you for the, for the follow on, uh, or sorry, for the like on Facebook. Oh wow, that's a giant symbol for Facebook. Okay, I need to fix my Streamlabs Facebook integration because that doesn't fit in with <laughs> with the rest of the things, but thank you for that. Love yourself. I've heard a lot about Love Yourself and I've actually been watching um, Figure Skater play through that. So that, that does look like an entertaining one. Really? Keep mossing that timing. One more and I will... um. be able to uh, go back. There we go. Eh, Mr. Koopa, whatever. After this, we're going for Bowser. Alright, that's plenty of 1-ups. Let's do this. Uh, CD, thanks for the follow. How's the stream such a classic game? I am having a good time, uh, first name. Um... It, so yeah, I, I, I wanted to play this game when I was a kid, and I've told this story a couple times now, so. Um, 
when I was a kid, I got the, um, the, the, you know, the regular Nintendo NES. Um, and then when it got a little bit older, you know, I was talking to my dad, hey, I really want to get a Super Nintendo. And my dad and I go to the game store and the Nintendo 64 is out. So my dad winds up buying me the N64 instead of the Super Nintendo, even though I wanted the Super Nintendo. Um, because he says, hey, it's newer, you know, buy, buy the newer games, the more... And uh, it made sense. But still, I never got to play uh, Super Mario World or Donkey Kong Country or a lot of the other games that I really wanted to play. But I did fall in love with Ocarina of Time, which is just, you know, still my favorite game of all time. And I recently got a flashcard for N64, which means I can do Ocarina of Time ROM hacks, and I'm looking forward to playing the new Gold Quest that just came out. So hopefully, at some point in time, if I play some Ocarina of Time, y'all will uh, come hang out with me. Okay, I will ride the snake down. Because that, that was kind of my instinct to try that. Oh, you wanted the GameCube, but you got the Xbox and said, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I knew it. I just didn't. I, I... If it was a ghost house, I 100% would have gone down there like that. But on these regular levels, I'm not looking for uh, potentially trollish things like that. Yeah, we made it. We squeezed through. Hey, Magic Hoop, I need you to not... Yes, thank you. Taking this shell with us. So I can do that. Ooh, boss fight. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm still going. I think we're going to beat this game. There we go. Oh, I lost my mushroom. But that was a quick clear. Did I ride the snake down? Yes, I did ride the snake down. Get off your game after you finish it. Me who plays Endless Mode and Mario Maker 2. I'm unstoppable. What are your thoughts on the DK rap? Oh man, I never actually really paid too much attention to it. I am aware of it, but I haven't really, um, put too much attention into it. Mario's defeated Larry Koopa in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mari rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? Let's find out. I'm wondering what's going to happen here. Is it like a whole eighth world or... It's just called Front Door, so I think it's going to be like a whole world, isn't it? Okay. All right, we've got some auto-scroll now. There we go. I got 30 lives. I should be fine. So it's labeled one, two, three. It's interesting and confusing. Like this is a puzzle and maybe I have to go through specific doors or something. 
he jumped way further than I expected. Right, well, room four is pretty easy, and we know it took us to a bunch of other doors. I'm just going to assume that was the correct thing to do. Oh, it's okay. You can pick whatever path. Cool. Yeah, there's a one up up there. Didn't really see an easy way to get it though. And I got 28 lives. I think I should be fine. Okay. For me personally, these chucks are definitely more difficult rooms. So we're gonna try four and then we're gonna try seven. I don't want to deal with those shucks. Seven be better. Okay, that one moves. He's just going to keep hippity hoppitying towards me. Okay, that's a good room. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen those guys since Super Mario 2. Wow. That's a pretty short schedule. Oh, welcome, Owen. Oh, UK? Ah, oh, yeah, it's, it's a little late for you, but not super late. Man, I like the UK. I haven't been there in forever, though. Used to uh, go visit London and Reading a bunch. spin off you at least, right? Yeah. I don't know if I can jump on you, because you're kind of spiky. That was close. That almost went very poorly. Okay, so now we know. We gotta light up this room. Then we can see the ninja over here. We're just gonna spin. Oh! Didn't expect that to kill him. Whoa, Mecha Koopa! Didn't even know these were a thing. game feels like it's running slower. Too many enemies on screen, maybe? Oh! This is it. We're here. Okay. I thought there was gonna be like a whole... Like a whole world for Bowser, maybe. Once the level's called Front Door. Alright, uh, let's see how I do here. I've, I've seen what I'm pretty sure this fight is like a bunch of times. Oh, 
Or do I have to get probably like eight hits on him? I feel like eight's the number. What? No, I thought I was good there. Okay. Okay. Is there is there a checkpoint here? <laughs> I would very much like a checkpoint in this level. checkpoint if you weren't in when okay there's a back door all right well i guess we're just gonna grind through this I like for a first attempt that wasn't terrible um i i feel like i was off on the hit boxes of those fires that were raining from above so i think i just need to dodge them rather than try and be in between them i thought i would have plenty of room to like stand in between them but I think I learned that hitbox is uh, is pretty brutal, so we're not going to try that again. I'm pretty happy with 4 and 7. 4 and 7 seem pretty easy to me. Like, this just, it's very predictable movement in number seven. That's what I like the most about it. Okay, so I know I can spin on ninjas. Can I jump on them? Yes, I can. Okay, my game is probably going to slow down. Yeah, my game slows down in this area. Interesting. Probably, like, hardware not being able to keep up or something. I don't think I can take you with me to the fight, right? No, I can't. Oh, nice. Our 67 likes on the on the YouTube side? Good number. Yeah, I haven't checked on any performance numbers since we started. I've just been purely focused on the game. Koopas. I actually expected him to throw shells, but you know what? This works out fine. Uh, they woke up. They don't wake up if you keep kicking them. Okay, when somebody said they don't wake up when you keep kicking them, I thought that meant... They don't wake up if you keep kip kicking them in this version, too. Uh, so I completely misread something that somebody said in chat, and... <laughs> well. Sometimes you die when you don't know how the game works. But that's why we're here. That way I get these deaths out of the way in base world uh, before I start playing ROM hacks. There we go. We're not going to die that way. Nope. 
he's gone. Give me more Mega Koopas. Yeah, I don't trust you anymore. We're getting rid of you. Yeah, she gave me a mushroom! Did not expect the mushroom, but I'm very happy I got it. Hey, Bowser. Give me another Mecha Koopa. Go. Can I spin off that? Yes, I can. This is not really threatening. It's just a ball to jump over. Like... You're the final boss. I expected slightly more than that. Lost him. Hey, Bokudin, how are you doing? There we go, there we go. Boink. Boink. Nope, no boink. Okay, well, if we're transitioning, I don't want the Mecha Koopa there anymore. Yeah, bosses that give you what you need to defeat them. Not not the smartest. Can you give me another power-up? Yeah, alright, I got one stored. Okay, this, this could be a problem. Dropping the ball was nothing. This, I feel like, could be dangerous. Dude, stop throwing the Mecha Koopas. You're just... You're just teaching me how to defeat you. I thought he was supposed to throw shells. Honestly, I thought, like, that was the thing that he did was throw shells. I didn't know about the Mecha Koopas. Is that it? That's it? Let's go. I think I just beat Super Mario World. Took me four hours. Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. And now do it blindfolded? Wait, Panga did Super Mario World blindfolded? That's a lot to do blindfolded. I, I did 1-1 one, one blindfolded. I think I did 1-2. Yeah, I did do 1-2 blindfolded. Um, but like in, in, Super, in Super Mario Bros. 1. But that's, that's the limit for me. I can't imagine doing any more than that. There we go, guys. That, that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed that. Let's see what all we got going on here. Alright, so I am going to do something real quick here. Uh, thanks everybody for coming. This has been awesome. Like, this has been really fantastic. So, if you are on the Twitch side, I am going to throw you guys over uh, to a great friend of mine. Did the, did the raid happen? Alright, and if you are on the YouTube side, this stream is going to end and a new video should start watching. This new video is from a friend of mine, another creator. Please check out this video. And if you want to subscribe to that other creator, that would be fantastic. All right. Thanks, everybody. And I